This is a production of Darn TV. <clears throat> well, welcome back to the Dirt Weekly again. Yep. That's kind of some nice, nice moderating yeah. sounds. A lot better than last week. I tried to change it up a little bit for you guys. We never know what's coming. Yep. The best part is, is I just put play on this little list here. It's all instrumental, so there's hardly any words in some of, some of them. Although some of them do have words. I just pushed play, and we went down about four of them pre-show. So the one I actually clicked was called Hot Damn, but we're actually on Jetstream. It sounds like it sounds like the name of Shots <laughs> <laughs> at the local establishment. Yeah. We went from Hot Damn to <laughs> who? <laughs> <laughs> to Jetstream. Yeah. Oh. Jet, jet you right to the good times of the night. Yeah. Better call a ride. <laughs> well, lots to talk about. We had some racing mm. last weekend down south. Um, we finally finally had some racing to watch on TV, yeah. per yeah. se. And we, we need to include you into our watch parties at the shop. You can come oh. over and watch or get you a TV oh. out in your shop because you got to get caught up on some of this stuff. Well, it would have to be a nostalgia TV. You know, no remotes <laughs> yep. or anything like a channels selector on it <laughs> to match my radio. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if I can rig something up oh, like that that would stream from a Roku or stream from a, a streaming device. A to, a yeah. to a console TV. To a console TV that he can change the dial. We'll make a special shell for it if you can find one just to get it up <laughs> off the ground <laughs> so we can see it from all sides. It might just be easier uh. just get over there and fire it up for him. <laughs> that would help too. <laughs> <laughs> I resemble that. Yeah. On the way home or wherever I'm at, <laughs> swing in, turn it <laughs> on for Jorn. What are you doing? Warming up the TV. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah, it's not, you can't. It's not an uncommon mm. thing, though, because, like, right here, my dad and my uncle sit right here, and they want to watch racing. Well, we have to send Max yeah. or somebody up to turn it on for them. Again, I get it. Because they, they look <laughs> it makes at, sense to me. Because my dad still thinks 604 is, is Fox and 603 because he's got Mid-Continent. He's oh, had Mid-Continent oh, for yeah. years, yeah. you know, TV. So he's got his numbers down. He just types. He looks at the remote down here, the Roku remote, and goes, or the Fire Stick remote. He goes, this don't have no numbers on it. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what channel to go to. That's what would happen to me. Right. Yeah. I got Dish, so I'm me <laughs> 216. Right. <laughs> Not not Smallsy yeah. and I. Yeah. We're in the streaming world. Ain't yeah. probably watching yeah. it on your phones. That's oh, completely no. not right. We got I got four TVs. <laughs> Tomorrow night's That's gonna be real that. really busy. Uh, got dang. hockey. We got racing. <laughs> what hockey you got? Uh, the college tournament started today. Oh. Oh. Yeah. UND is somewhere in there, isn't it? Tomorrow they? night. Tomorrow night. Seven thirty, mm. and Hayes, Kansas, will be at. Yeah, seven wow. or five thirty or whatever time they start. But yeah, speaking of Hayes, it looked like uh, Chris Sutton and the gang are working pretty hard on the racetrack. They did some reshaping mm -hmm. last fall. See some ads coming up. So yeah, mm -hmm. nobody making the trip down from up here, I believe. I've heard of nothing. I've heard of nothing as well. Mm -hmm. None of the cars from our shop are going. <laughs> Same. <laughs> so, <laughs> well. Smalls ain't unloaded his yet, so. Yeah. No, I was <laughs> it's an 0-3 If here. we got done here and us three went over, I could be ready. Well, there's one out in the garage that could be ready pretty fast, too. Right. That sounds like a lot of work, though. It's they, Thursday, not Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> we should be practicing we, right now. Yeah. There's a day of driving in here somewhere. So. We'd have to take the green machine to get both Whoa. cars in there. We're, oh, we'd have to pull him on a rope to get yeah. him started. It's <laughs> been a long winter. <laughs> we're we're a week behind already. <laughs> Not going to uh, make it. Yeah. Hayes is safe from it. us. <laughs> yeah. We'll just stay here and Good, talk bad, about it. Good, bad, and otherwise. So. Yeah, welcome, Jared Johnson, our first commenter. Welcome oh, to Random oh, Dirt on yep. a random Thursday, a random <laughs> week. <laughs> We don't Dang. know what we're going to talk about tonight. We a tried random to, uh, start. A random start. <laughs> That's what it's for, though. I, I just mm -hmm. I want to show that we can just bullshit and talk and apologize yeah. for swearing, but not really. Hey, that's good. Somebody did it before me. Oh, I said damn <laughs> earlier, too. <laughs> Maybe it's your night. Uh, Easter weekend, going into yep. Easter yeah. weekend here. Kids yeah. have been out. My kids have been out of school uh, since Tuesday. Wednesday, the first day off, so Tuesday mm. went to school. They're off until next yeah, Wednesday. I was excited about having tomorrow off, and here Kendra told me she's got Monday and Tuesday, too, and I'm like. Which is mind-blowing wow. because. Yeah. Like spring Bishop, break again. Did they, yeah, get a week, did they get a week for spring break? Yeah, what is up with that? 
Well, so like my kids did not get the week for spring break. They they got a Friday off during the Class B boys oh, tournament. Yeah. Well, that's that's what they're doing then. They're getting their spring break. So yeah, so they're getting three days this week On and two Easter. next week. And Easter moves around. Like I say, it's right. in March this year. I'll be at the last day, but it can be up to almost the end of April. Who the hell decides when Easter is? The well. bunny rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I got a joke for you guys after the show. Oh. Uh, I can't say it on air, though. Okay. I once heard it was 13 weekends after the first full, full moon of the year. <laughs> don't hold me to it. <laughs> you farm on the side, too? <laughs> well, I don't, and I didn't hear it from that either. So, But that's what I had heard. Long-time listener. I'm full of useless we, information, we, and that fi- fits right yeah. in. So. We should do, like, phone call or do oh. some sort of noise for, like, Jesse Long checking in oh, so you guys know. Geez. Mm. What Jesse did he put in? in? Yeah, what did he put on his car? So he has something like wrecking ball long or something on there, I think. <laughs> oh. I have no idea. Oh, boy. Oh, he was. Already? He, yeah. <laughs> Jesse oh. called me the other day wanting to know about exactly what my parking spot was, and he was thinking there was an extra one in there, but. I don't I think there is. That, there ain't an extra one in there. No. So. I don't know where he's going with that, but Jesse, I'll park you when you get there. You just <laughs> you just chillax. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. You just get your car. He's washed. excited. I guess that's the message. I seen that Estevan put out their parking spots yeah. to pay for them or whatever. Mm-hmm. I was gonna. Who's next to you? To the right of you. Um, that was um. Is it, is uh, it uh, Joey Galloway, Galloway? Had two spots there, and he was spotty when he showed up. So I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm going to reach out so, to him, see if I can mm-hmm. buy one, because it doesn't sound like Brock's going to be making the trip, and if Max is up there, I'd like him close enough if I have to. So you're close to your office Yeah, I can and be your back trailer. and forth as needed. Uh-huh. Just park in the claim area. Adam even talked about trying to get oh, up there. Oh, moved that. For no other reason, we be each other's pit man, kind of, sort of. So. Yep. Geez, I went back um, in time. Claim area is not behind the... No. Pit grandstand anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. No, the, the, yeah. the, actually, we parked right next to the claim area when we were way down on the end. On the yeah, end right, there, off of right. 23. Yeah, yeah. We weren't very far from the claim area. Uh-huh. Had a brain fart there. <laughs> Where I park, it's tricky to get out of there because, you know, because you can't back straight up. But I guess I've done it for 20 years. We'll do it for a few more for sure, <laughs> I think. So, yeah. But, yeah, you should check on that. I, I don't even know. I, I I don't know who the go-to person was on there. I wasn't paying attention. I just put "I'm in," and that, they knew what that meant. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. So well, I'll, I'll just I'll just talk uh, to Galloway. So. Maybe he knows, or if yeah. he's willing to give one up, maybe I just lease it for a year. I, I don't need to own it or anything. Yeah. Yeah. But well, you don't own them. You lease them a year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll at least yeah, he'll be a, a like sublet. Your property taxes. I'll sublet yeah. it. From it's it. your spot, but you got to buy it every year. Yeah. <laughs> We've had this discussion in board meetings, haven't yeah. we, at <laughs> yes. Nodak? Yeah, I can only imagine when it's cold and there's nothing else to talk about. Cody said Doc Runge or Brad Pearson. So Cody Schultz ah. listening. Hi, Cody. Oh. Cody, I need a magic setup for my stock car if you want to <laughs> throw something my way. <laughs> uh, throw the old guy a couple of bones here. I, I think I his mean. answer will be bring it on up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me uh, a week in the shop with it. Yeah. Dilly's getting all warmed up on it and stuff, but... I'm kind of stalled out at the minute, so I need a little. I need a. I need an enthusiastic poke here. So, yeah. <laughs> so uh. well, we'll move to the Sebo Motorsports Rundown, specializing in high-performance parts and chassis repair. Call Ryan at seven zero one seven two zero three eight eight nine. Um, it's a little late if you're going to call now and want something done by race season. I'm just letting you yeah. all know. Yeah. What'd well, you say? Yeah. Yeah. You better. You be. missed the boat. Yeah. You better start thinking about another good idea. <laughs> Backup uh, plan. Because I can't imagine he's not really busy. Um, he might be able to help you out or, or, or do the do the high spots. but Yeah, he'll be able to point you in a direction to maybe help you out. But, yeah, yeah you're, you you need to be on his list in uh, January, December, January. Travis was calling it March Madness, and I followed it up with April Insanity. And yeah. I, got noth- I got nothing in March Madness, so <laughs> April Insanity is going to be <laughs> real. We, so. are, we are. You got uh, three weekends, well, four if you count this one, before the car show. Yep. Yeah. Or another way to say it, they go in three weeks from tomorrow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. <laughs> my wife is looking for my drink. What drink do you want me to drink? drink. I got my I got my drink. water down here. We were doing shots earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were doing shots earlier. <laughs> uh, song choice. We're shooting shots there. It's it's hmm. almost bedtime. I'm missing. You're watching. Uh, what? w- what's on right now that we're watching from the game? Uh, Press my luck is on the game show network right now. I <laughs> Jenny and I have turned into that old couple. And we the the winter has done this to us. We y- go. You'll enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't that bad. Oh, we we boy. go home. Uh, expe- <laughs> it, it's in the world we live in. Everything is expensive. So any chance you can get to not spend money, especially when you have two teenage kids. It, right. You go home. You make a little supper. <laughs> you sit and watch Game Show Network for a few hours. Press my luck. I I remember the show. I'm not remembering. It's a new one. Oh. It's the new version of. Oh, Press new my version. Luck. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Then we had the old Hass car up there last night. Trevor was on his phone trying Has to become Hass car, <laughs> trying to yeah. trying to figure out how to become a contestant. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> all we need. <laughs> you should go on Wheel of Fortune, Trevor. Oh, he was trying to figure that out too. Because see, you you have press my luck at seven. Hass car. <laughs> yeah, ah, that's a new one to me. Well, I mean, uh. it's either Hass car or flipper flopper lockless. <laughs> I can remember the first one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he was, it, it's, it's press my luck, two episodes of Wheel of Fortune, and then two episodes of, of uh, Family Feud, and then bedtime. Yeah. Uh, that's our news. 7 o'clock to 10. Mm. It turned well, the you have race cars, so you're done with that, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be supper, more race cars, and then bedtime. Yeah, it's getting that time. Day after day after day. Getting that time. We, uh... <laughs> We had a busy weekend working on race cars. There, we had a bunch in the shop converting, uh, not really converting anything, taking Max's car, and we stripped the body off it. We put a, a used body back on it for Brody. Um, it's actually the stock car body that Max drove a couple years ago. That when oh, he was yeah. 13, he raced oh, that yeah. car as. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I almost forgot about that already. But yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So Max, that that body, it takes me a while to read when you type. Uh, you're N- multitasking, yeah. and I'm thinking yeah, I'm. Well. Uh, you're talking well, to me. Who, and NBI, <laughs> so N- NBI says NBI. I'm, I'm letting DBI watch my iPad, so don't believe any rumors that come from my account going forward. Oh, DBI, text me what deck? Uh, yeah. <laughs> let's let's get a little pokey on on DBI here. So, so. Dylan, before we started here, uh, uh, Smallsy was sharing maybe a little Snapchat uh, jargon on your new modified. Yeah, a little. And, and, and Tinder Tom was on you on your uh, little deck angle there. Well, <laughs> looked like he got some <laughs> downforce. Oh, he got some arrow wedge in <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> a lot. Trying uh. to build some talent in the back. <laughs> so it's, uh. it's six inches of deck, right? But, but you can Lee, only have Lee, three from the middle to the back. At least he did him a favor, and he colored everything else out. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, what kind of car you got? You got black doors on it? Oh, no, that's too scribbly. We're just paying attention to deck here. Uh, Dylan, just so you know that yeah. there is a fourth headset yeah. that yeah. we can set you in right next to us and somewhere. There, and I think there's some people waiting for you. To yeah, there's, some people, there's, there's a whole group of people out there waiting for you to come on so we can. And we have a chair for MBI, too, so she can eat popcorn and yeah. watch. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so, uh-huh. 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 With with our fourth chair, Craig meant to be here. Right. Yep. But Troubles East, at Marketplace. Easter yeah. weekend <laughs> and Marketplace Foods Weird. and Thursday night. <laughs> Max Plus Peter. a little in-store trouble. Max is in there working tonight. <laughs> and the other thing yeah. about Dilly there, I said, geez, he actually gets something done not too yeah. long ago. That car was just. It, 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 it was a blue clip good idea. Yeah. <laughs> He's got it all together. Uh, the engine guy that I am, I was late to the party, and yeah. I don't like to be late to the, <laughs> any party, so. <laughs> so. Well, I, I I got it in there. I think just in time before I got when I seen the pictures. But when I seen the close. pictures of just a freshly black chassis, I'm like, that thing ain't hitting the track anytime soon. Yeah. He's almost caught me. Yeah. yeah, and I didn't have to do much. Yours is still in the trailer, but <laughs> yeah. he's there. He started with a freshie. You haven't right. unloaded yet. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. A little side story on, on on the black chassis part. Oh, he's he's, he's checking he's, in. Oh. <laughs> he's checking in. Now it's your turn to read. <laughs> <laughs> the deck is just laying on it. Take oh, it easy. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't, don't need to be tacking on Snapchat. Um, so, so now, 
okay, in life we, we know that if you're a painter, your house needs paint. Right. If you're a body man, you have the right to see his car in town. If you're a plumber, nothing works. Okay. Yeah. Did I cover all of us? Yeah. Not quite. Okay. So, oh. so Dilly grew up in a body shop. So he's had to paint his frame twice because, I don't know, he got the hardener mixed up or something like that there, okay. and it wouldn't dry for nothing. Yeah. And so so oh. his nice black chassis is the second time. The second time. <laughs> <laughs> Start Not that it off. that's important, but it's kind of fun, Dylan. It's kind of right. fun. My phone ain't banging yet here, right. so <laughs> oh, there's a delay. It's yeah. coming. <laughs> so it's coming. He's thinking. It's all in fun. Yeah. At any rate, fourth headset, Dylan. The show has just started. You and MBI can zip up here, jump in right. for a while, and still catch McDonald's on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before the late night menu. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you're going to get the 10 o'clock news, but. but uh, right. <laughs> yeah, so. Fluff, uh, Fluffy says yeah. DBI uses the metric tape measure. Oh. <laughs> it changes things for him. Yeah. Well, he, he cleared himself. He said it's just laying on there. It ain't mounted yet. Right. So Tinder, Tinder jumped to start. Yeah. <laughs> so he was. Uh, first things uh, first. <laughs> well, well first, at least it's not white. Too many, too many white cars going on right now. Mm. Yeah. That's all I see is white. I'm I got a, white because that's what came with it. I'm a fan of white. No. Well, I was too when nobody like, else had white. Like Vanna White, white <coughs> race cars. Oh, I'm a yeah. fan of white. Walter White. <laughs> you had me at Vanna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys obviously don't watch uh, Breaking Bad. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, white race cars everywhere. I see, you know, Max has a white car. Brock's a white car. I've seen uh, quite a few people. You have yeah. a white car. Lots of white race cars. Lots of pink this year. I've seen Lily Christensen had a pink chrome, Yeah. you know, yeah. numbers and stuff in her wrap. That's exactly what Max has sitting in the back room is pink chrome. So ah. This guy will so. not be having anything pink. No pink for you, huh? No. You're sticking to it? I'm done with the pink. Too much pink going out there. Going yellow now? I don't know. I I wanted Turner to give me a do a wrap for me, and I checked on the wrap situation. And he told me he didn't have time to do the wrap, so I said, "Just give me some numbers." He said, "What color?" I said, "You pick this year. We've been doing this for 13 years. And you just <laughs> I'll just be there to pick them up. So who knows what it's going to be? Well, it'll be just like the coolers. There's six coolers for the Tougher Than Dirt Tour out there in the garage, and and. Uh, Rod Conway calls me from Turnus's and goes, what color do we want to make these this year? <laughs> and I go, I don't know. Pick a color. And I go, Jenny's right next to me. So I, Jenny's on the phone with him, too. And she goes, I don't care, Rod. Pick a color. And whatever, Rod turns to Turnus and goes, you choose the colors. Yeah. <laughs> well, we haven't unboxed them yet, so we don't we, know what they look so like. So nobody knows. No. Nobody knows. Besides Turnus. Because usually we choose a color. <laughs> right. Usually we choose a color and then go with the theme. Yeah, year to year. He, was, oh. he, he had a bunch of pickups. He wrapped. Looked like today he had them out. There was a lot of green, so I'm thinking maybe I got green numbers coming. I don't know. You never know. Slid some green yeah. numbers. Right. That's oh, all Jenny, I ever see. Jenny that. opened it up and seen them. <laughs> Jenny says she opened them up and oh. seen them. Oh. Uh, She's the only one that knows. Oh, Billy's back in. Kelly Dukesher said she likes white cars because it pops or it, it's easier to see on the racetrack. Oh. We can't get Dilly tonight. 4.30 comes early. He says he's <laughs> obviously got the day shift tomorrow. So I'll there was up, a day, Dilly. I'll be up there was 4:30. a day. You'd have done both. <laughs> so just not anymore. Well, our thoughts are with you. Happy yeah, Easter. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. um, Good ones. Yeah. So <laughs> first item on the rundown, I don't feel like I can play the video. Do you think I should play the video while we do this? There was a bad wreck in an IMC stock mm. car. Actually, it was a USRA stock car event, 5,000 to win down in Arrowhead Speedway. Yeah. Oklahoma. Col Colcord, mm -hmm. Oklahoma. Um, uh, Dallin Murdy, Damon Murdy. There was a bunch of IMCA drivers participating in this USRA stock car event. Mm -hmm. uh, Brock and I, we tuned into it at the shop while we were working on race cars, whatever. And in the feature race, Dallin was running the cushion. Mm -hmm. um, bicycled up on the cushion, laid over the roof to the wall, hit a pole, a fence pole, slung him back out on the track, and somebody hit him right in the roof. Uh, caved in the roll cage. You know, the pictures yeah, look pretty the bad. Fr the frontal roll cage was completely crushed down upon him. Um it was gruesome that, to see, for sure. 
Yeah, even the headrest of the seat was bent down. That was bent I, forward. I, and, yeah, I couldn't. Uh, uh, thank you to all the powers that be that he is he is completely Safe. okay. Right. Yeah, completely uh, okay. Completely minor okay. minor so, bruises. That's what I um, heard. And some of the, and some of that car stuff we see, of course, is they were extracting them out of it. So some of that is cut marks. But a- Adam and I sat down, had a pretty serious talk about it earlier in the week there, and, and Adam was blown up to pictures, and you could see what had been snipped and what hadn't been, and some stuff had just flat come apart. Um, certainly a unique crash, I will say. You shared the video with me, so I've seen yep. it. Uh, and uh, um, like I say, they're, 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 they're clipping right along. He's, he's on the high line, so you know there's a mile an hour there and uh, uh, whatnot there. But nonetheless, we kind of dissected it, uh, as, as we all have, uh, all of us armchair quarterbacks are. And, um, um, I, you know, at the end of the day, I, I, I'm going to go on record. Racing's dangerous, and, and, and there's just – there's, there's just some certain positions race cars are going to be t- extremely vulnerable in. Right. Between the case of having to be, a, be able to have them be practical to get in and out of them, there's going to be some openings there that we've lived with for decades. But like everything, it had the, the, the forces of, of, of the situation all had to be lined up just right to get the outcome that it had. And that rarely ever happens, and that's good. I'm gonna, I, I, I want to I wanna reflect on something that, that, I, that, that caught me right away was – we don't have those walls in North Dakota. So that alone would have changed the situation around yep. here. We'd have drove it off the corner. Right. Albeit we might have got wadded up in the guardrail, but right. at least we wouldn't have been on the racing surface still on the initial yep. accident taking place. I've always liked that about where we are at um, because w- w- from a car point of view, I think we have had cars last us a long time because there, when we do drive it off the track, we just drive it off the right. track. We don't destroy it. Right. Uh, so, so, so there was a little bit of that. And I understand some places have to have that full containment. I get it, but uh, but nonetheless, uh, uh, we're going to discuss it here a little bit. And uh, um, yeah, I mean, thinking back on some years, I, I remember NASCAR had addressed this similar situation. That's when the Earnhardt bar had come in. That's the third bar in the windshield. Um, before the show, uh, Smalls and we were talking that modifieds have a cage construction that's kind of a a left side cage deal where the brackets go out to hold the roof up to the right, where a hobby and a stock car is a full-bodied cage. So yeah. it is a, a bigger cage, bigger cage that's got more area to bend and distort. Hmm. So yeah. take it and from there. Um, a race car is built to take a, a direct hit in the door, yeah. in the front, the back, the direct passenger door. They're designed to take a direct hit there. When you roll a car on its side, yeah. it's not designed to take a direct hit. You've taken the perimeter out of it. Y- exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I agree. So that is what's super <clears throat> scary because when you roll, when you take the car and roll, you're landing on the roof, but it's not a direct blow to the roof because when you're rolling, you're, you're, rolling you're it still out. moving. Yeah, you're, you're right. taking that energy and rolling it out and continuing through distance. I'm not mm-hmm. trying to downplay rolling a race car in any way, no. shape, or form. but. When you take a direct hit from the front end of another car going at speed in the roof, roof, it's not designed to necessarily stop that. In, in a way, we almost kind of had this happen at Nodak. When Nathan, my brother, on the front straightaway, remember he got turned. Yep. And I think it was Henderson got him. In the roof. In the roof. Yep. I have to go back and watch it. I'm vaguely remembering it on because it was wild. Black. I was on the catwalk. I remember running all the way around because I'm like, everything happened so fast, and it was, not, it wasn't as bad. Not to down the moment. Do you imagine Smalls running? Oh, this was mm. when I was skinny. Oh, okay. Mm. Keep going with your story mm. then. Because this is almost, <laughs> this would be eight years ago, mm. at least. I just wanted but, everybody at home to yeah. picture you running. Oh, I can yeah. still move pretty good now, <laughs> but. You know, it's... I, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's just crazy. There, There's nothing really, you know, you get hit in the rough. I mean, you, they're not building cars to really prepare for... Yeah, the roof what, really isn't set up for the bumper collision, if you will. Right. Um, just a side note before you interject there. Again, Adam and I are kind of just, I don't know, kind of banging this stuff around. And, and, and Adam brought up a point. He don't, he's not so sure they're really any safer 
on the floor side of them. Uh, good so, point. Good right. point. So both the roof and the floor, and, and, and thought about that as we were talking, you know, and really both, both the top and the bottom are both pretty vulnerable. I mean, we put a thin piece of plate in there, but – and it's got an X underneath us, and we got we got a we got a halo with a but bar over once it. Again, they're both the same. What is that X designed to do? They put an X underneath the car from from the right rear frame to the left, left front, yeah. you know. And that X is designed so the frame itself doesn't crush in a side impact. In correct? a side impact. In a side impact. protecting the sides. So, but from when it's on its side, now when it's you get hit head from on, underneath, it just pushes in, seemingly. So it's a scary deal to think about, and we're not experts in building race yeah. cars. No, we are not criti- We are not criticizing Just any chassis builders. Armchair quarterback talk here. Yeah, so. our, yeah. Um, Perry Meisner, good friend of ours, builds a lot of our race cars. He's already called us this week and said he's making changes to his cars mm-hmm. um, moving forward. And if we want stuff changed on our cars, we can just take them down to him. Um, mm-hmm. My bi- my big thing is down. He lived. He I mean, lived. He <coughs> lived yeah. through it, it, it unscathed. Yeah. So. I'd like to bruise. say, I'd like to say, you know, maybe the car did its job. I, he's living, you know. Mm-hmm. I look Is at there it. Did the cha- changes to be made? Yeah, maybe, you know. But he Th- think he, of, think about that full containment seat, that Kirky full containment seat that goes above your head a little bit. Right. How much did that help in this situation? Right. So I, I mean, yeah, well, I think the, I like I like full containment seats for, for all the obvious reasons. Uh, and and they are strong. I mean, they're a structure compared to what we raced with thirty and forty years ago. I mean, I mean, it was time mind- we raced with a fiberglass seat. That's absurd. It was, it was mind blowing to me how his headrest on that seat was folded forward. That they showed that the what? helmet had some marks. It didn't. I didn't. I didn't understand that the helmet was broke, but it but it could have been and should have been. Again, he was but a young person, strong. Um, immediately after the wreck, the car lands, and the camera is on it, and. There's situations where you maybe don't want the camera on it at this point. Mm-hmm. I, I'm under the belief, leave the camera on it, zoom back a little bit. There's people watching. His family might be watching somewhere. And as soon as you pull that camera away and you turn it somewhere else, well, now they have no idea what's going on. And they're going to they're they're uh, think the worst yeah. at that I, point. I, keep, yeah. keep that camera there. Don't be zoomed in like right on him. But yeah. just, just keep it on there so that way you get an understanding. Immediately mm-hmm. after it, he landed, you could see his hand. You know, he was moving his hand it. through the bars. He, he was communicating. He was communicating. Uh-huh. Um, but that the, I don't know who the other driver was that hit him, but I've never seen somebody get out of a car so fast. Yeah, I, like, I, I yeah. honestly believe that he thought the was, worst. Right. The car, <laughs> it couldn't have been laying any more vulnerable than Correct. it was. I mean, after he got into the wall and bones back and he was on the surface there, the, the next car came. Actually, the third place car looks like that might yeah, be destroyed. Work, right. and even the third place or the third car I, I don't into the frame. In, yeah, uh, that, that's when when we situation when we we sit here and say you know things happen on that track so fast. <laughs> it's it's fast. That wreck like, happened really quick. Oh yeah, and to reflect on what you just said, it's hard, to me it's hard to really understand the speed because we're all kind of going the same speed, so you're either keeping up, catching up, passing, or being passed, and that's at a, and that's at a five mile an hour pace. But when things go wrong, <laughs> all of a sudden, then it's fast. I, I yep. think it's crazy to me. When, because the crash is like, my God, they don't stop rolling. When well, I, they were going 80 miles an hour. Like so. when I don't race at Nodak and I just go up to the stands, you stand in going into corner one. I don't think you get more of a rush at the racetrack than – when you stand in the corner one, watching like mods or anybody just wing it in there. And I think to myself, that's what I look like when I'm out there. Like, it don't, I mean, I know we're going fast, but. It like doesn't this, feel like it in the car. Right. It doesn't. I agree. But, but yet when you're watching, you're like, I'm not oh, doing that. Right. Well, I must be. You're I'm right. keeping up right. to them. <laughs> you know, I must you know. be going that fast. But it, it I, just, everything I, happens so quick. I and reflect then, with you. I like, yeah. Back to this deal. After this happened. Didn't they have another big? Before this happened. Oh, it was before. Before, uh, uh-huh. Gary Williams was down there. Shelby Williams, Gary Williams was down there. Um, Gary started up front. I can't remember where exactly he started, but he there was contact with him and another car coming out of turn four, looped him around. Everybody mm-hmm. kind of scattered, and then one of the back markers, I don't, I don't know what position car, came and just hit Gary Williams' car head on. Oh, like boy. they just... Shh, he was turned around backwards coming face, out of four. Facing traffic. Facing yep. traffic. And he put a picture out there, huh. and it is 
wonkered all the way over to but the. But it went up in flames. Yep. Yep. So had that mean, dimension too, huh? Th- mm, this fire. racetrack went through everything in one night. Yep. Wow. It. it <laughs> all I know is it. It. I didn't like sitting there watching all this and being like. This could happen on a Sunday night. What would, you know, like, you, you run the show, like, what, you know, what do you do? I mean. You, you let the people the, that you have in positions do their jobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but still, uh, it, it would have me stressed to the max. Yeah. I do, mean. Do it, you remember the night that Jesse Long stopped at the front straightaway and got rear-ended by Detman? Do you remember that night? Vaguely? No? Kind of, maybe, at Nodak? Yeah. Well, I was the flag man with Max. Max was the flag man. I was right behind him. Oh, it yeah. All, it, yeah, all happened, yeah. it all happened directly in front of me, and I watched the whole thing play right. out. And I'm president of the Nodak Speedo at that time. I just sat back and let the rescue crews and the wreckers and everybody, once, you know, there's nothing that I could do. Yeah, but still, at the end of the day, you're. you're I'm responsible I, for yes, them people. When you, mm-hmm. you know. I was going to add, the Smalls, you're right. I mean, you, 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 during the offseason, you nonchalantly go through your divisions. And you're looking. Well, I know I've got I've I've, I've got a Cracker Jack uh, rescue crew. I know that, and you do, you do. But at the same time, all of a sudden you're like, was I sure of that? Right. Because yeah. of course they're going to go out. You, you, it, you it, got it, a great rescue it, crew here. We got right. a great deal in Underwood. Every track does. It, and but, that's but you question it real quick because right. they're going to ask you the questions. I mean, <laughs> so, like we're we're yeah we're so good at Nodak, you know, with only pro- providing that rescue truck we have. Uh, our rescue guys came to us last year and was saying, hey, you know, it'd be better if we got, like, a side-by-side so we can get there quicker. Yeah. Everyone on the board was, like, 100%. We went searching, got one for them. We're, we want to try and make sure we're prepared for the worst. But That's where you will get the confidence in your decisions by the right. fact that you never, you, you never fought anything it, they wanted. If we don't ever have to use the side-by-side, really, for – why we bought it to get there quick good but perfect i mean but you're it, right if and when they got to right. come over the corner you know a side by side can get over the corner easily and, yes. and the banking doesn't look that severe until you're in a rescue <laughs> right. truck going sideways right. about tips the thing over water so, truck whatever so you know as long as yeah. it, so you know we've been trying to make some improvements uh, we're great you know our rescue crew Bo was just at the last meeting said hey, here's a list of what we need you know we update our stuff every year so and they, but, they have the foam um, to handle fires of yep. gasoline and alcohol. Yep. And yep. They have they the got proper the at times. Uh, purple K or something it's yep. called. Yeah, he was just, I, I didn't even know this stuff. He's explaining <laughs> it to him. I'm like, you just get whatever you know <laughs> Like you have not, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. Where do we get it? Right. Okay. Right. You just bring the receipt back. <laughs> First race <laughs> in mean? four weeks. Right. Be ready. Okay. Right. Yeah. But, and and Bo and all of them do sure a, a, a great job of managing the – the right. fire and rescue crew at Nodak. Oliver is also down in Underwood with you guys as a board member and and as the rescue crew. So yeah. and I know throughout times that everyone saw they want to they want an older race car they can you know, pra- yeah kind practice of the there, situations yeah. on. But that Damon Murdy deal, I mean that was that things like that. He's he's great. That's 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 the wonderful part. But there will be fallout from this. There will be I'm guessing some changes, some at least some change in thoughts. Uh, there's got what can we do to improve this at least a little bit? To me, there's got to be almost a meeting with, let's say, IMCA or whatever, sanctioning bodies. And some of these major chassis builders, I think there should almost be a meeting and get them in the room and have a discussion like, is this built right because he lived or do we need to make changes you know, I, that, I, that's actually a great front right there. You're right. Uh, did, did it do the job? He didn't right. get hurt. It looked right. terrific, but he didn't get hurt. Right. Maybe so maybe everything was exactly right. If if it would have been built stiffer, I, I mean, who knows? It's metal. It could have yeah. went whatever which mm-hmm. way. If you would have put if you would have put more bars up there, what if one would have snapped and went pierced him? Pe- yeah. Pe- right. Yeah. You know, that's so, a great point. So the fact that he's okay and the car is destroyed, is that right? Or would it right. be, or would it be more happy if the car looked unscathed and he was injured? Right. Yeah. If you make it too hmm. rigid, then he takes the punishment as yeah. the driver. Maybe, right. Maybe some of that energy was actually transferred through the car. Again, it was a, uh, it was a once in a, in, a, in a lot of numbers times that he, that could perfectly be presented, and and it wasn't. It did, but 
again, he was not hurt. So I, it, it, the, the jibber-jabber that I, that I was catching on Facebook, some people had strong opinions and oh, whatnot. Yeah. Um, and, and, again, uh, he wasn't hurt. That's so – but maybe it's maybe it's just one of those things that you know we're thinking about it we're talking about it. as I shared Adam had an interesting deal I think the bottom of the car is just as vulnerable right it just doesn't look like it for, with our eyes but and, and there's go, nothing there either and and going back to you're that. setting on that yeah <laughs> so, right so going back to that the, the comments on the internet that that's where I kind of sat there and I read some of that stuff and I just wanted to come he lived yeah. like. Let's, Shut up. Let's not lose back like, to the good stuff. There, right. was, yeah. there was people that jumped on there and said, good right. God, what are you guys talking about? He lived. Yeah. Right. I mean, don't don't sit there. And to me, that's the problem with the racing world. Sometimes we get in there and you you want to rip that chassis builder apart. Well, I don't. Let's not. You know, mm. I th- let's if we can make some improvements off this. But he lived. It must have. In my, it had to work, you know. Yep. <laughs> a favorite line through the decades is we can replace cars and we can't replace drivers. So, right. again, it was a per- perfect scenario if you can allow yourself to think that way. Right. And we are. So and, and, good and, for him. And then I've seen mm-hmm. some other stuff saying, like, oh, yeah, they, this car was rolled once before. and They fix it themselves. They, they fix it themselves. <laughs> Don't be blaming them, guys. We're all racers. What do you think we're going to do? That's I mean, just what I said. Like, <laughs> Adam and I had that, too. I said, what? had that been tweaked a little bit, I'd have got off the Porter Power, pressed yeah. that thing back, and forgot I did it two right. hours later. So right. that, we're not, that's not going away. No. So, I, yeah. Um, so, um, <laughs> you're exactly right. That's not going away. We're doing it at 3 in the morning. We forgot we did it when we went to bed. Right. So, <laughs> Jay, Jay Van checked yeah. in, Jerry Van Sickle. I'm, ah. sure, I'm sure this will be a topic. Who's that? Uh, he's some oh. he's some uh, no name announcer yeah. guy from Iowa, Marshalltown area. Yeah, yeah Marshalltown. <laughs> well, he doesn't announce hey, in Marshalltown. Yeah. No. Super nationals or Super something. Super nationals for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, he's that guy that talks on the microphone really loud. Yeah. Um, not not Ryan either. The other not, one. Oh, this is not the calm guy. No, not the calm oh. guy. Oh, okay. No. Happy yeah, Easter, ho- buddy. <laughs> hopefully, he's still listening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, of us, so. And mm. then and then Fluffy checks in. Michael Waltrip had a bad wreck. You, if you guys remember yeah. way back when, in NASCAR, and he he said that car was worth every dollar we had into it because I'm able to be here be to here. talk to you guys. So. Let's not lose sight of that. No. Jerry said thanks, boys. I, I'm sure Jerry, <laughs> this will be a big topic yeah. on an IMCA dirt cast. Yeah. I'm willing to bet. Yeah. Um, Done right in the IMCA office, so I'm guessing. Right. I yeah. believe IMCA yeah. has already responded with some okay. rule changes or discussion <coughs> about rule changes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure yeah. they've already, because if Perry yeah. Meisner knows about it, yeah. I'm guessing he got a call at some point in time from somebody in IMCA. It can't help but spark a conversation. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, right. I mean, I've never built a car. I'm not going to try because I'm not the guy, but I w- think. I think uh, we fixed a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I I, yeah. I do think there should be some discussion with some of the top end chassis builders. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're, we're getting to the point. There's not. I mean, there's not too many Dylan Barton. You know, building their own cars or, you know, yeah. that stuff going on. So a lot of us are just buying chassis. I think those guys they know what they're doing. It is they, scary though, because through a trade of a trade, we ended up with a turnkey hobby stock, home-built turnkey right, hobby right, stock. Right, 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 right. And we looked at that thing. The, I mean, it's still out there. It's out there. But at the same time, IMCA does have a, 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 a thickness requirement. Yep. Um, you know, they got the inch and three-quarter main cage. Right. So it, I don't know what thickness right off is. I think it's 83, 93, somewhere in there. Um, but at the same time, it can be built with more, and maybe some right. chassis people are going to want to take advantage of a 120 wall or something like that. So, um. Paul Berger was on there making comments and uh, keeping it constructive. Um, Peyton Taylor was on there keeping it constructive. So, um, I, I I really believe no matter no matter Paul Berger's B and B chassis. You know, mm-hmm. Peyton Taylor does he build his own car? I don't think so. Yeah. But he he's down in the Arkansas area where GRT. He's promoting so, nonetheless. Yeah, he's so. promoting. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't believe any chassis well. builder wants another chassis builder's car to fail. Right. Paul, That's Paul, yeah. Paul right. Berger's on there. I seen him sticking up for Terminator in a sense. That, that's, that's what I felt. Y- that's know, what I felt. Again, they got the they all get the same rule books. So yeah. So I mean, if you want to be the insurance company and cut it apart, and the wall thickness is right, and, and the and the diameter's right, again, racing's risky. 
I, I don't I don't I don't want to minimize that, but I don't want to forget that yep. either. I mean, we're still doing the dangerous work. As a sign of Jim Hill said one time, Jim Hill School, they have a little one one the one liners on there all the time. If it was easy, everybody would do it. So right. <laughs> that was one of their deals. I, so I mean, you know, we got we we got that too. It's not I, always. Black I did and white. notice something last year though that kind of caught my. Eye. <clears throat> I went looking at some new new cars, some new mods. Dreaming the, or what? No, what I w- I went and looked. There is not much on the back end of them anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I go back and look at mine. I'm just like. Mine almost looks like a tank compared to these. Interesting. You know, like, mm-hmm. if you, how does this hold up? Yeah. <clears throat> and we don't, to me, in my eyes, we don't know yet. Going forward, are we maybe promoting, maybe having the whole rear clip get tore off where the, where the driver compartment is still fully Well, that's kind of where, I mean. But then do you run the risk of something in the fuel cell, fuel lines coming out, and then the fire producing starting? Producing the fire? I mean, yeah, you that's know. certainly going to be the that's going to be the round table of the people that are going to, you know, have that, the strong opinion, right. the written rule going forward. Kind of what mm-hmm. I'm getting at. There's no rules when. Oh, well, as far I don't read the rules, but <laughs> they're, they're, you and Dilly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. See, you should start before right. you start. <laughs> right. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't see no rules on how many bars are supposed to be on the back of a modified. That I don't. You just, yeah. I think there's just a requirement of having a. A rear bumper isn't it supposed to be so many inches off the ground to center? And how it's supported. And yeah. and supported with two or whatever. It's supposed to be right. a bumper. So that you start the race with, I think. Yeah. Oh no, you you uh, have to, don't at you have Nodak, to, I think you have to finish the race with it, but I'm per, uh, that's not an IMCA rule? I don't know. We'd have to look it up. It's a legend well, it's a legend no. rule. <laughs> it's a legend rule. It's a legend rule. So Well, IMCA kinda lets the tracks decide a lot of that right. stuff. Except in rare instances. Because I said so. <laughs> E-I-R-I, the yeah. favorite rule by all promoters. Yeah. Except in uh, Again, instances. there's hundreds and thousands of crashes all summer long, and, 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 and this one's going to stand out, and, and it, I think it's a, a very constructive, converse, constructive conversation. I think it's okay to be aware of what's going on. And, and well, that, that's kind of what I'm saying it. with this mod thing. Before we have one wiped out, does this need to be looked at? That Are we building too light in the back or is this going to be okay that is an interesting deal yeah i mean are the minimum weights too minimum we're cheating the weight everywhere else to stay yeah but the problem is the, to me the the weight rule don't matter because you just start throwing lead on it put the lead on yeah. the, put the lead yeah. on the thin pipe right so maybe they make a rule that you have to have a certain you can only put 200 pounds of lead on or you can only put 150 pounds of lead is that I, you're, we're going to rule this to death. If right, any, yeah. if right, any, right. If anybody yeah. watched it, here, the NASCAR race, they're this, cutting the damn track at Coda, right. and it made it annoying. I I agree. That was annoying. <laughs> Paint it that way if you want to race it that way. Exactly. <laughs> so, you didn't right. watch NASCAR, did you? Right. I don't watch that. Yeah. Well, you're missing out. Well, oh. you won't in another month, and neither will I. But every <laughs> once in a while, you get a little bit of it on Sunday because you yeah. and I should be yeah. in the garage right. working on it, right. and we're not. We're watching that. Nas- yeah. No wonder we're not done. done. <laughs> we haven't started. <laughs> I hope I get mine unloaded tomorrow. Fluffy, Fluffy so. brought up that was a big conversation a few years ago with over rail cars and whether they're safe or not. Yeah, see, Fluffy's paying attention to what I'm seeing. Uh, there, there was a picture on Facebook just the other day of a car, and I was just like, "That's even where less. is it? where is it? <laughs> There's not yeah. much there, huh?" And I. You got a fifty-pound battery swinging around back there too. With yeah, well, two hundred gallons. But they're of moving fuel, those forward. You know, yeah, I mean, there, there's nothing back there anymore. Mm. Trying to think, like God, Max I don't is out there, is up <laughs> right next to him. Damn and, man. And then the, this is the best part. Old Hawksprung's got a Wayne Larson mod sitting out there in the front yard. You drive by that thing. That should. I mean, that's a tank. <laughs> I mean, it was cutting edge technology in two thousand and three. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't miss them. <laughs> Still, <laughs> so. an interesting talk yeah. um, for those out there that didn't see the wreck. I'm not. I can't show it. I don't have privileges from race on. I'm mm. not even going to ask for them. It's I don't, on Facebook. It's on Facebook. Yeah. Do your searching. You can find it on there. Um, pe- enough um, people have shared it and commented on it. It's out there. I'm mm-hmm. not going to post the pictures on here just because yeah. it's not my place, not my story. I'm, we, I'm, it's just a discussion. I'm happy. It was happy. Shop talk. Yeah. 
Yep, it, it was an eye opener. I got pictures sent to me. Yeah. Um, the first thing I thought was hopefully he's okay. The second thing is, can I mentally handle something, something. like this happening at Nodak? This is what this is what I try and stress to people. When you sign your name as president <laughs> of any racetrack, now don't scare off the new guys. <laughs> well, I'm going to. <laughs> Gently. <laughs> you are in charge of 2,000 people or more on a Sunday night. I, I, you, you are the king. Should I say babysitter? <laughs> or you're the... You're the final answer. You're, you're, yes. res, you're responsible for him. If somebody yeah. in the stands gets hurt, if somebody in the stands trips and falls down the concrete steps, if somebody in the stands, a rock goes up and hits him, you are responsible for him. If somebody, one of your officials, one of the racers in the pits, you can go down the line. It does not matter. Right. It all falls on your shoulders. Right. And, and people go, well, you have to delegate or you have to find people to help. No, you don't understand. No, it's when it hits the fan, when you it the hits guy. the fan, it <laughs> all the comes guy. to me. You the guy. <laughs> whether I'm whether I'm the first one there and responding to whatever's happening. Jordan, you're a board member. Where's the president? <laughs> I, exactly. Ah, okay. I, that, that is me. <laughs> that is you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, How small hey, is he? Hey, yeah. small. Where's Brandon at? <laughs> He's over there. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. We're, now, we're looking now, for yeah. the president. Well, yeah. that's me. Now, now, no, now it's me. Jordan, like, you didn't give me the answer I want. <laughs> yeah. Where's Smalls? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, right. Hey, he's over there, but before you <laughs> go you over go. there, you're not going to get the answer he's you want. He's going to say the same <laughs> thing I said, yeah. just not as yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try. Yeah. <laughs> so, here we go. <laughs> I'll be watching. Well, Good luck. Uh, I'm going to tell Smallsy I warned him, but <laughs> here we are. So... <laughs> Right. Okay. Yeah, but good discussion. <laughs> I, I really believe yeah. that conversations are being had all throughout the racing world right now right. to to decide whether or not the cage did its job. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Everything did what it was supposed to do. He lived through the accident. Mm -hmm. And if there's a way to make them safer, I firmly believe with the guidance of sanctioning bodies mm -hmm. and uh, nope. chassis builders, they're going to make them safer. Right. But I think opening up that conversation about the under the car is another topic. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty cool. That, that I mean, Adam said, I don't think the bottom is any better. Well, I'm like, <laughs> I couldn't. I thought about it. I'm like, geez. We, we all we <laughs> started, right there on we that started with the top. Adam went to the bottom. <laughs> I'm going to the rear here. Right? Cause I, <laughs> so. we, we, we might need an overall whole look at this thing. Yep. Yeah, we got cow catcher front ends on this thing. Yeah, and, <laughs> and if you don't run into that, we're in trouble. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Oh, uh, shoot. You know, actually, uh, Damon's deal is probably kind of like our in, our, in our in rare instances type of deal. I mean, it, it yep. was once in a thousands and thousands well, of crashes and to, to, to have an eye-opening experience. Okay, so we lost Earnhardt in 01. We haven't had anything. No, we haven't lost anybody since, right? Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't believe but so. But we've had some. Scary right, wrecks. Yeah, Ryan Newman. Yeah. Remember that one? Yep. I mean, so obviously. You know, since the Earnhardt deal happened, NASCAR, you know, made huge changes. Actually, racing in general made huge changes. Them, them NASCAR wrecks and those, and it started. It's a trickle down. It effect. started with yeah, like, with the Adam Petty's. Well, Neil Bonnet was kind yeah. of the first big name one in the mid '90s, and then Adam Petty and Kenny Irwin Jr. and then Dale mm -hmm. Dale Earnhardt Sr. You know, the safety stuff started trickling down. Mm -hmm. I'm, a big big, I'm a big podcast person, huge right. podcast person, and I love going back and listening to this stuff about not necessarily the wrecks. How but they the, navigated the repair? How they navigated, how they, mm -hmm. they, they fixed the cars mm -hmm. or they changed the cars mm -hmm. to make them better, and what was the outcome of what actually happened. Not not the, the drama that happened in the media, not the drama that right. happened out there that we've seen. What did – the people behind the scenes do to prevent it from to happening. rectify the to, to fix yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Well, look at your. Well, you got to stay grounded, and you got to keep yep. you got to keep right. them so you get in and out of them. I mean, I mean, we could put a funny car cage in them, but in the wrong instance, that might get you squished in there. Right, yep. that'll you be know, worse. I mean, you know, I mean, funny cars are made to go straight. You know, and when if they hit the wall, they're glancing. We can go in them straight on. So I mean, we have to have protection. From different angles too. So, and and what they um, figure out in NASCAR, um, the safety things that they come up with in NASCAR, 
the bigger cockpits or the bigger, what do they call it, the driver's cabin? Uh, Isn't greenhouse. that greenhouse? Greenhouse. The bigger mm-hmm. greenhouse. Different bar placement in the greenhouse. The bar angles in the greenhouse. And again, we, that we all touched trickles on it. down to the dirt track. Uh, our full-bodied cars have got a different cage than our modifieds. Yep. Uh, yep. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, like I say, maybe an Earnhardt bar in a hobby stock car. Maybe that middle bar. Maybe that does something. I'm not sure. People, people they're talking can, about it, they will come up with something. I mean, you guys can laugh at maybe me, nothing. but this is, this is what I think. Us, what we're racing now is early 2000 NASCARs. I mean, if you, you sit back and look at it, our technology in our cars is what NASCAR was kind of. It's a trickle-down, hand-me-down deal. Oh, I wonder what the just, roofs on a NASCAR are right now. That would be interesting. they got four bars, five bars, no bars, two right. bars, one bar. I bet there's a cut apart of that. That next-gen yeah. thing out there somewhere. Like I say, to me, it should have a spider web on top of it, about a three-inch crown and about five different bars touching all all corners. But, again, it, you'd it have to cut them out to get the driver out. It but. may make the the mounting the roof maybe a little bit easier or more difficult, depending yeah. on how you have it. But yeah. Lon Satrin wants to bring back white pants in the pits. That's a safety deal. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. He says, do not bring back no. <laughs> I, I, well, if I, Smalls and I wear shorts to the races, do yeah, white legs Lord. count? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's your glow-in-the-dark paint right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to ask him, do you think I'll look good in white pants? <laughs> you know, the white pants, you know, it, was, it was. of course, it was hard to keep them clean and, and whatnot, and they might even be hard to find. But I will tell you, as a driver, if we get put out on the track, and every once in a while there is somebody out on the track maybe going to try to have you pack in a certain area, I, I beg to all tracks, make sure you tell us on the race even that there's somebody out there because if we're going into the sun and not paying attention, we could very and, – and, oh. and, and, and you can't yep. see them. Even in white pants might not be enough. It would be more than what they're doing with blue jeans because you might get a glimpse of it. But uh, Well, no, here. You can't see people on the racetrack. If we're, we're going to talk <laughs> safety so. here. Here's another thing. I, I, we're lacking big time at Nodak. Dust control in the pits. I don't – I don't yep. care what anybody says. Our pits are dangerous. We dust. need somebody watering them pits. I know the drivers ain't going to like it. Dust is ground is a ground blizzard. <laughs> you can't. You see. can see. <laughs> you can't see. And, and you I come know. off our Say track. You go in our pits. You got that fence there. You don't know anything coming. It's yep. dangerous. You're right. <laughs> you take for granted nothing's coming. And I you preached. Don't know. La- I preached last <laughs> no, year trying know. to find somebody to just constantly water the pits, water the pits, and. You know, I mean, some of them, the guys that helped me last year, they were pretty good. But you get a little behind the eight ball, you get some people looking at you like, what are you doing? And you go down south or Boone, they don't ever, they don't quit until the, the sun goes down. And then once the water is holding, then they'll lay off a little bit. But there is no dust in the pits because they, they don't want anybody getting ran over. It's dangerous. But like you say, if there's something coming, you won't know it until you run into them. Right. You can't see off the end of your hood. After a feature race, <laughs> so. you, you, you probably can't even hardly see your trailer. If In May, the sun goes down. We don't have no lighting out there. Yeah. I mean, so um, we need a water I truck I tuck over to the right side because yeah. I know I'm going to turn right, so I'm kind of in the right. exit lane and do a, do a and, quickie and now, so I don't you know, get tailed. Everything, <laughs> so. all, everything has uh. exhaust hitting the, straight toward the – Towards the ground, so and I turn mean, downs on them, just yep. making sure. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. Certainly, the switch has been flipped on. Double checking the safety thinkings. Right, mm-hmm. big time. I, we'll I'll be okay. send you. I'll we'll send you okay. a link after this. Something to listen to. I I listened to it on the drive. I think it was yesterday. Tony Stewart explaining that incident that happened up in New York when he killed that guy. Mm. Explaining exactly, he went through like step, yeah, you know, and explained it. That is worth listening to, not for any other reason than you're a racer, I'm a racer, you're a racer. We know how we are in the car. <clears throat> He's no different. Yeah. yeah. You know, he, he his, it, it's just worth the listen. You got a big chunk of wing hanging down. Yep. Mm-hmm. You can't yep. see out of these race cars like people can see you driving your race car. You can't yep. see out of them. The containment seat, I love them. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> so, yep. Right. Right. The best line to use if you mm-hmm. run into somebody. I didn't see you. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, huh? explain that. <laughs> well, sometimes you can't. Sometimes you, you can. can. <laughs> sometimes you can. Yeah. Mm. Well, sure on, you can. on to the next thing on the Sebo Motorsports mm. Rundown, Hobby Stock 2024 Preview. Oh. Preview. Oh. I spelt that wrong. Preview. Yeah, you forgot the P. You got Review. Preview. <laughs> <laughs> you were close. Oh, man. And close what, counts. Were we looking for, what is that, a new producer? <laughs> Fire we talk me. about it. We we're, talk. <laughs> fire we me, really, please. We, we really, we really don't want to get involved. In <laughs> that's kind of like trying to find a new president. <laughs> yeah, that's so I was trying to help you earlier right, there. Yeah. So. <laughs> so Chris Roeder already commented that oh. some new hobby stocks over in the Williston area. Exciting. So he read the, the review yeah, and knew it was a preview. <laughs> yep, yep. I like the thinking I like it, I has. Yeah. I like it, yeah. Oh, he's and got younger he comp- kids. He knows how to compensate right. the, the message. <laughs> right. So, oh, dang. Oh, Marcus is on board here. Quick reminder, we got a 1,000 win hobby stock. McLean on our July 14th Sunday. 1,000 so win hobbies? 1,000 win hobbies. Man, move that to May, four, May, May 4th. I could get a hobby stock license, race that. And then, yeah. and then get my <laughs> mod get stock car deal <laughs> yeah. in there. Well, then I could get my oh. mod license and go to Wilson next week. Ah. Yeah. Man, yeah. who would love Marcus to? Marcus is saying, you hobby guys uh, get, a little, get a little money for the state fair. It's fixed. You did oh. that that See, fast. You're is it, hired. Is it, Chris has got younger children. So he's used <laughs> yeah. to compensating. He knows yeah. the message, even yeah. if it ain't spelled right. So <laughs> every day. Some of us aren't, mm. you know. Marcus tricked me on the old Snapchat the other day. He said ah. something about leaving or ready to go, and I said, take me w- with. And he just said he's cleaning the trailer out. I thought maybe ah. he was headed south, but he fooled uh, me. Yeah. If Kelly fooled. Kelly Dukesher asked the name of the podcast. Go to Audio Rama on YouTube. That's where I found it. Audio Rama. Mario. They had a good sit down with it's it's from a few years ago, but they had a good sit down with Tony Stewart. I watched one with Jeff Gordon. I watched one with Dale Jr. It's fun. It's uh, uh, Dan Patrick. Remember Dan Patrick from the ESPN days? Been in a whole mm-hmm. bunch of Adam Sandler mm-hmm. movies and stuff. Um, he was on Sports yeah, Center. I remember the name? Yeah. Um, he sat down with Tony Stewart and then uh, Joe Buck, the announcer for football yeah, stuff. Yeah. He sat down with Jeff Gordon. It's it's kind of interesting. Um, hmm. Yeah. Audio Ram on on YouTube. Oh. So so on our preview on pre- our hobby stock on preview, our preview, preview, not preview. Review. Yeah. Well, maybe we should do a review before <laughs> we do a preview. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sage Boru jumping up to a hobby stock. There's a couple more over there, Chris. It's going nice. to be exciting to see Sage. I know there was bring the hairdo, ha- Sage. Bring the hairdo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know there's a couple more over there that are jumping up at the hobby stocks. That's Cause exciting because Willis and Ben will have a little bit of deficit in hobbies. So. Yep, yep. So I'm excited for that. Um, I know what's his name, uh, Bohannon, Aiden Bohannon's oh, coming yeah. into the second year. Yep, uh-huh. yep. second full time year. So maybe mm-hmm. maybe a little more up to speed there. Yep, he got I don't, better did, as the years went on. Right. Mm-hmm. Did they start mm-hmm. right away? Uh, they started, and then he went to wrestling camp for a month, right, and right. then he so, came back. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think he might be – he's going to get robbed from racing a little bit, I think, because they're pretty big into the wrestling, which yeah. do it because you only get so many years Enjoy of that. Enjoy school. Yes. you got yep. all your you life know. to race. Right. So don't – I'm proof. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Enjoy your high school. Uh, or Yeah, enjoy your school years because you only get one round. Right. And it goes quick. You're so right. You, you must have. Uh-huh. What do you got up there? I'm no doing. Deck? I'm doing the review. You're doing the review. review. Are we'll let's we'll do the top two because Kyler uh, Saturn won the the Hobby Stock Championship by mm-hmm. only two points over Caden. Yep, Caden mm. Caden won all but one feature, right? Yeah. And that one feature yeah. was a DNF. And both are returning yeah. this year in Hobby yep. Stocks. Both are returning. Okay, Grinstead was third, but he is pretty far out. But mm-hmm. I, I, Grinstead returning for year three. Yeah. Now he's picked. This up. will be year three for him. I believe it's year three, for, right? For Brenner, yeah. For Brenner. Yeah, Tyson will be his second year. Tyson, yeah. So um, I'm not exactly sure what Tyson's schedule will be for sure. Alex Twight, but he was fourth. Where's Where does he stand? I think he's coming, coming back, back racing. So what I, I understood know. from Jesse the other day when he was asking about parking spots. So 
sounded like Brian was going to race too. So Brian Tom- Twight? Mm-hmm. That's what Jesse said. So. Thomas Goldsberry, I thought had the best year. That he's ever had. Yeah. Ever had. Yeah. I, it, to me, he, he improved. I haven't heard anything of him all winter long, but I, I hope he's in. I hope he's in. I thought I heard his name by somebody the other day, but I think he's coming back. Yeah. he. Yep. Somebody told me they were mm-hmm. going to – they got to give him some sponsorship money or something. And good he's, he's, to plan, the class. he's planning on coming back, so – had some good runs going on. Yeah, I thought he looked really good last year. Brett Green, he move, he's moving up. He's Brett, stock right? car, or what is he going to? Yeah, I stock know Sean car. is. Sean has a stock car to there, I'm too. pretty sure Brett got a stock car, too. Okay. That I don't know. He he was on here last week. Isn't that what he said? I, I don't remember yesterday. It was seven days ago. You should remember. That's a lifetime. What did we talk that, about 20 lifetime. minutes ago? <laughs> that's a lifetime. I, an hour's a long time. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> How long is the show again? Yeah. We're already an hour mm. and six minutes or so into this we, show. We started late. You were running the show again. <laughs> hour and one minute. My bad. We got here early, and we still started late. What happened? We we got – Brett <laughs> Brett says Sean Green and him both have stock cars. See, I, that – Brett, my, okay. My, my memory's working. And Lon okay. Satrin confirmed it. Ah. And Bo DeShaw de- de- confirmed <laughs> it. So we're on to something. <laughs> And then we, we have got a lot of fact checkers going yeah, on yeah. here. We're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> keep, <laughs> keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Nate mm. Jern and Scott Jern were seven and eight. Jeez, what a tight battle there. One point. Then mm. Max is ninth, and then Brian Twight, tenth. Which Brian well, sounds like he's going to run more yeah. full right. time. And then and we Jesse get was saying, number so. el- the eleventh place. I'm going to bring him up. Andrew Birch. I think they started out strong, and then disappeared time off i don't know where mm-hmm. he was there for quite a few nights at the beginning and then That's, did yeah, he come right. back after fair i don't think he did i don't think he ever did come back mm-hmm. but i think we need to pressure him and to razz back. him a little yeah. bit yeah need him back you that throw could be. you throw an andrew birch in there with a caden with mm-hmm. a with a kyler and with a brenner yeah we got got grinnies yeah yeah and we got maxwell Stepping out. Yeah, Max is. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So back to Max, who got ninth. But he'll be replaced maybe by the end of the year by a Brody. Maybe. Mm. Well, Brody's car, he's going to have yeah, a car. He'll have a car. Um, we're not going to introduce him to Nodak right away. Right. We, we're going to start an Underwood and maybe a Botno or maybe a Devil's Lake. Kind of get the, get the feet. Well, he's a, year, the he's a year behind what Max was. Max got to go at 13 over in Devil's Lake. Right. Brody's already 14, so he's a little bit behind. Mm-hmm. Um, so Max Max is going sport mod. Max will be in a sport mod. So out of the top ten, we're not really – we lost two, I guess. But you, you maybe gain a couple. Right. Was Chris indicating that Sage was going to travel at all? or uh, He didn't say anything say on that, here. So. but uh, mm-hmm. And then, well, Fluffy said it because Trevor went to work with, with Chris over at uh, Gravel Products now or Concrete Mobile. Well, that would be in the preview. This is the review. Oh, that's, that's yeah. the ah. review. So now we're going to the Jeez. preview. Now we're I'm gonna not ha- sure if I know the difference, but I'm going <laughs> to learn. <laughs> we're going to go. We're going to add yeah. the P now, now for the preview. Yeah. Now we're adding yeah. the P. Now so, we're preview. Now we're so, previewing. So okay. it, it, here's what so I thought about today. This is where we mm-hmm. were. This is where we're going. Yeah. Yeah. As <laughs> I, <laughs> and we're here right now. As I was driving today, my many, oh. many miles that I put on in a given day, about 200 a day if anybody's wondering. Um, I've only been with once. I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was sitting there thinking to myself, what can we talk about on the show tonight? Whatever. I came up with this hobby stock. We'll do a class each night. We'll start tonight mm. with the hobby stocks. Next week we'll go sport Sporties, mods, stocks, mods. stock cars, mods, and compacts. I don't. And, that, we, and that leads right to the car show if you're that, doing your math. If you're doing your math, mm. that leads right into the car show. Um, mm-hmm. If we don't miss any weeks. <laughs> It's we, time to quit playing hooky, I'm right. thinking. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right. If uh, if you had to put, I don't want a driver ranking, or maybe we can do a driver ranking. Like the top five hobby stock drivers, you got to include Estevan and yeah. right. and Williston and Botno and Underwood, basically our northwest corner of the state. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe include Dickinson if there's anybody down there you want to include into it because they're IMC hobbies. Mm-hmm. Um do you have a top five? Who would be your number one driver right now? One car to beat, one guy to beat. Would it be Caden? Um, um, here's here's how I look uh, at driver rankings. 
if you're going to put a guy. You flush ri- him in the toilet and you don't worry about it? Or no, no, no. Mm-hmm. I think there's a place for him. But I look at it as, it, okay, yeah, this guy is fast at NODAC. But then when he goes here, he totally struggles. But then this guy, yeah, he finishes in the top five every time at NODAC. Probably doesn't, you know, maybe yeah. he doesn't win. But then he goes to Wilson. He can be a top five car. Goes to Underwood. He's a top five. To me, he's better than the guy that's only good at one track. That's how I look at it. I, I agree. Because I agree. I use the eyeball test. Mm-hmm. You know, there's mm. some there's some other people that they they've they've done these rankings or whatever, and I don't right. necessarily not looking for rankings, but they've used stats or statistical data to try to take you know yeah, starting position, well. finishing position, you know, and come up with the best formula that gives you a a number and goes this guy's know. one, two, three, four, five. I I don't like that. I use the eyeball. I watch them with my eyes, and who's the Who's the mover in the shakers? That's what no. I was kind of just saying. Exactly. This guy can go anywhere. I was just reiterating. I, I'm, y- I'm. You're speaking for you. I'm, I'm a secretary that has to translate for for the president. Different words, same meaning. <laughs> <laughs> it's called stretching an hour into <laughs> four. <laughs> so. Two into six. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So, well, so we're uh, on the you, same page. What about apparently yeah. it's not Craig. Well, no, I, I'm riding along. I can do whatever. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> so, no, I. I mean, What's your eyeball test telling you? Uh, I, I'm gonna go with if we're picking a power ranking. No, no, I didn't say power ranking. I said I don't want to do rankings. Okay, what I'm looking if, for, if we're looking for NODAC, uh, what no? It, in, in out of the the area tracks, the northwest. Okay, all the guys that race at them. Zone. If you showed up one night. And this certain driver was there. You'd peg him for the favorite to win over anybody else. Who is that guy? Kyler Saturn right now. Two years ago, no. Now I think they got it figured out. He's grown into a a driver that can go to multiple places and compete. Super impressed me big time in Boone. That first showing they had out there, I'm just gonna say it is pr- they were probably embarrassed. They were. He did not look good. They but by, re- by, by day two or three. Was on it. On it, yep. And to me, that. Made, made that, the adjustment. Yeah, uh-huh. to me, that is a race car driver. When you, can, mm-hmm. when you can go somewhere, you struggle, and then come back and be good or go anywhere and compete. Mm-hmm. You, in my eyes, you necessarily don't have to win. To me, that, that's something like Ricky Thornton Jr. was huge on. He could go anywhere. It didn't matter where he went. He'd figure it out. Yep. yep. And he could figure it out in that night. At, that's any, a, at any level. At he's any doing it. Right. Because he's doing it. That's a race car driver. Yeah. That yeah. Kyle Larson, those guys, you know, that, that's how I look at it. Like, I always like to kind of say about myself, I don't win a lot of races, but I can go anywhere, and I can get to the front. Probably not going to win. He can get to the front of the heat race and usually draw good <laughs> enough to start up front in the got feature. a competitive lap. <laughs> right, there you <laughs> go. At least one. I made the It's t- the last one I <laughs> want, <laughs> but. Yeah. I made the TV screen. Yeah. <laughs> they know my name I when I the laugh. Highlights. For, right. a, for so, a few laps. Right. I made the highlights. <laughs> Until so, I blew it off and um, my focus was chasing squirrels or something. <laughs> yeah. Brad yeah. King was running yeah. through his yeah. mind. Yeah. Yeah. But that's how I look at it. If a guy mm-hmm. can, and I get it. Some guys they don't have they can't go travel, but well that's kind of the direction I was going to go. I mean, right? What so, are we selling in hobby stocks? Are we selling the traveler? Are we selling the because I, I just local? Pose, right. I just pose so, it as that yeah. one driver. Like um, to me, to me, I mean, I'm I'm taking Caden Appeld anywhere, and I'm going to put him up against yeah. Kyler. Yeah, it, um, it, he hasn't proved that he can race every other racetrack yet, but his pure raw speed that he shows at Nodak in Underwood tells me let's go somewhere and play yeah oh yeah yeah I, if you're I, leaving room I, for yeah. five I, I like it because i'm a connor hansen guy i'm certainly a caden yeah. guy there's no questioning uh a saturn's devotion for it i mean they right. they they, 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 they work the on it before work yep. they work yep. on it at lunchtime and they work yep. on it after work and and all winter long right. they got something done they unloaded there's an october and worked <laughs> on them yeah not tomorrow. I just unloaded mine, yeah. and you haven't, and we haven't worked on them. So, <laughs> so, but uh, I've been working on my driving skills. Yeah, I'm getting psyched up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna run out of time. Uh, so, but uh, 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 Grinstead's uh, they were over today bending up some uh, deck pieces. So for Tyson's car. So again, for as new as they are, they've had results. Brenner won Motor Magic. So uh, I, see, but so there's Bryn- stuff there. Brenner to me, 
him and I, we're on the same page. We're, yeah. we're, we're not the – there's people in the stands that pick us to win, but we, we disappoint them quite often. But we're a third. <laughs> we're a third. We're, we're, Again, you gave me five. Right. So <laughs> right. I'm filling you know, it up. <laughs> that's, that's, but I, that's what I like about, you know, those guys. They don't give up, yeah. you know. Yeah. And like Saturns, they go to all of them. Right. So, so I just – I, I, I think maybe Brenner and I, we need to get – talking to each other and figure out how we can start winning these things instead of just being there. Yeah. You know. I thought Brenner was pretty good. I thought Brenner had found speed from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Right. Yeah. They're, they're uh, picking so. it up. See, and, and as a driver, so, so you're, you're a driver now, where did we see the biggest improvement in Kyler's racing? Was it year one to year two? You've seen an improvement. Mm, two yeah. to three? Because what You've seen this, an improvement. So this, this would be, would be year four. Four? Yeah. Year four for Kyler? Or five. Lon will tell yeah. us here yeah. shortly. Yeah. I think it's um, five already. Well, I'd have to go w- back and look. What he, ha- what he had to survive last year was the nerves. Right. Because but, he set up a winning streak. Mm-hmm. He set up leading the three tracks, and then he closed it. Well, that's strong. Mm-hmm. I mean, he had to get through the nerves. His presentation been solid the whole time, but, but he had to learn how to race for championships which didn't always mean winning, but so it might have been a third. Here, here's my deal. It if meant staying out of trouble. If I got, if I'm so. putting a hobby stock team together, I'm buying a stacker. The three I'm taking: Brenner, Caden, and Kyler. I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I'm rolling with this. And, and I if get, they can kind of work together a, video, a little right. bit, if right. me with a They'll video camera, better. me with a video camera, video <laughs> this yeah. whole thing, because I'm putting the same small, three. I, Small's yeah. driving the truck. Oh, I can do that now. Be, being yeah. the crew leader. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Being the leader of the gang there. Yeah. The pastor. If I would, no, if no, I would, <laughs> they get a tool out. Small, they get a tool out. Smalls will be right behind him. You put that away yet? Yeah, right. That's right. You Cle- drips. You clean you, the grease off. Yeah, yeah you, you drip some grease there on the. Yeah. the clean that up before yeah. you get in that car to go race. Well, I'm almost late. Get nope. My, my heat's <laughs> going out there. Clean the trailer. Sweep it out here. <laughs> right, 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 right. Man, if yeah. I if I just won the lottery, this could have happened. Yeah. Mm, right. If you know, we yeah. got to buy a ticket first. <laughs> yeah. So, but here I'm gonna go back to my. We're all in trouble. Go back to my night. Go back to my story here. Year three, two to three. That so this is Kyler's fourth year. So year two to three, we've seen a big jump in Kyler Satra. Yep. Big jump. Yep. Okay. Brenner Grinstad, year two last year to year three. Here we go. Here we, we go. Have, I, I a lot have, of enthusiasm working on it too. I kind of have too. that five year quietly, deal. You know that. Five you're on year the five year plan. What? Well, there, if any racer mm-hmm. comes in and thinks they're going to be God's hero in racing, Jesse Long, listen. In five, <laughs> in, in less than five years, you're wrong. This is a long game. It, racing is a long game. I share often. At, uh, it was my fifth year before I won a feature at Nodak. Took me five years to win at Nodak as well. <laughs> so I'm on the five year. Five game. years. He Everybody, listen here. I won one my first year. Let's I take got care it. of this problem. I See? got it done. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's I mean, called beginner's what? luck, and it no. messed you up. <laughs> <laughs> like fine wine, you have to ease into this. <laughs> what I, took I, you guys so long? I did it by motor magic. Oh. And, and it I ruined did, you. And it I didn't even race forward. the full year. It yeah. ruined you moving forward. Oh, okay. Look at where you are now. Yeah, expect- I can't win. So <laughs> Your see, expectations got all misconstrued, <laughs> and so and now, now you can't function normally. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and, in Fluffy's <laughs> words, you, you're part of Bridesmaid motor po- Motorsports. Oh, oh no. Geez. Oh, those years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, it's it's just one of them deals. I, I, I believe. Hey, it, I got a. If idea. you win early in your career, that rookie year, mainly the rookie year, and if you win a bunch, it, it ruins your train of thought going into racing. You, 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 in your mind, subconsciously say, this is easy. Or I didn't say it. I didn't. Subconsciously. subconsciously. I'm not saying you said it. You, uh, because you, I'm on the same bus you're on, I say the same thing. It came too fast and too easy, so you think it is. You, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it so ain't. then you start yeah, showing up to the racetrack. So. You show up to the racetrack. Well, I did it last week. Expecting to win. Your expectations. Yeah. I did I, it last year. 
Well, yeah, but here's, here's the, it, this I'll, is this year. <laughs> I think you guys witnessed this, though. I showed up day one expecting to win. I, we because, did witness this. Yeah. Because where I came Still. from, there was one thing we went for, <laughs> winning. We yeah. The only thing yeah. that changed from what I went from to, well, me, was the driver. <laughs> I noticed the, the last guy helped. The driving, the driver was a lot better than what I was. Mm. But. Circumstances. Hey, I got. Uh, you or me. You. Here's my here's my thing. <laughs> Instead of power rankings, we should do who's going in the stacker. You get three choices. <laughs> you get three yeah. choices. Yeah. Who's going know. in the stacker? Story time with Smalls in the yeah. stacker. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> How much? How much are we getting for that? Are, are, so, are yeah. you making the pajama party? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are you riding in the trailer or the toter? Yeah. Are you sitting in the grandstand? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> or is Smalls booting you mm. out of your car and he's driving it for the feature? What's your goals this year? Well, I want to get in small stacker. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Here we go. There we I go. Get in small Z stacker. Yeah, you so. want to get in small Z stacker. <laughs> Look, you want to get in small Z stacker. Yeah. There we we go. got all <laughs> kinds of people chiming in now. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, no. Marcus, Marcus Tomlinson, you know, Saturn, Apple, Grinstead, throw a blanket over him. So there, he's got his four. stacker. He got a shutter yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. Four through seven. Birch, Hanson, Hortland, the Rubies. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's getting yeah. tough. Yeah. Oh, but the, the stacker, that stacker. Whew. We might need to get two. It, well, <laughs> yeah. You can't. I can yeah. only drive one. <laughs> <laughs> I can only drive one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alex Twight took me five years as well. Mm. Devin Gonas, three years. It took him in a stock car. Hobby stocks were nothing, though. He won right away. Uh oh. Devin did win Uh-oh. right away. Uh oh. Oh, boy. He's jealous. Is Our show's Jay better Tom? than Jenner. his. Yeah. Uh, J Van. Oh. Uh, this is the Dirt <laughs> Weekly. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, yes, I'm calling you because I'm watching on the Facebook. And I'm a big, I mean, I'm a big fan. And I mean, a long time listener, first time caller. Um, I was, I was listening about the small stacker. Uh, about small stacker. And I mean, he spends more time in his stacker than his car. Have you seen the guy race? It wasn't very good at I mean, Super Nationals. I'm a big fan of the 75. That's why he's driving the stacker. That's why I'm driving the stacker. <laughs> that's that's why he's driving the stacker, yeah. yeah. And not the... Uh, oh, dang. I mean, I saw him this winter. He was running this snowplow truck. And now up and up and so on. Are you driving Bernie? It was what? Was Bernie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know, we yeah. know. That's the same smalls. <laughs> oh dang! You, you guys just stand by for the modified stack. <laughs> I don't know if the seventy-five M's yeah, making yeah. it. Boy, hey, who's your announcer stacker? Yeah. yeah. There's no, there's no announcer stacker. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no announcers allowed in the stacker. Yeah, <laughs> that's the short bus. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> Poor caller. Dang. Poor, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Who opened up this phone yeah, line? Yeah, man. I don't know, but I mean, you know, I, I, I mean, it's not, probably it was, a, I, I thought I was calling the Rum Runner hotline. <laughs> <laughs> it was a small. That's after nine. Oh, That's after nine. Yeah. We had, not, we had shots at the top. Make sure and get the naughty number out there. <laughs> we'll do that later, The caller. bat phone. Thanks, caller. Yeah, caller number one was. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got three it's, it's weeks. Le- it's left side entrance. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's that's why that car turned left so hard in Boone. Oh, Too much left side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dang. Oh, oh man. That's awesome. Going to have to bust a bike oh, up. Go. Margaret's, uh, Margaret's, uh, hang on. Oh, it's Charlene. 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 Okay. Bye. Oh, dang. <laughs> wow. Oh. wow. Wow. This show is getting yeah. way too much attention nowadays. Apparently, apparently, it ain't just Northwestern North Dakota <laughs> no. anymore. <laughs> no. It's the concession stands in Boone. <laughs> It might be announcer short bus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do, do. We'll do That's that. you. That's yeah. you. Would I make the short bus, though? Yeah. Ooh. Would you guys put me in the short bus? 
Well, Nick's, well, no, dri- that's, Nick's that's, driving. We're going to have to get Nick. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's for another show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Caden Apple won his rookie year, then couldn't buy a top five. See? After, That's what you we know, mean. His second year. See, that that, that, that okay. good first year. That's did you, vicious. Did you have to, Caden, <laughs> so. when, when that happened, you won your rookie year, you come back year two, couldn't buy a top five. Did you have to take a step back and readjust your thought process mm. coming yeah. to the races? I'm yeah. just. Yeah. Happened to somebody else I know. Me? You? No. Yeah. Second year out, didn't win a race. But. Car, Soph- car, sophomore jinx. Car mm-hmm. didn't run right. Couldn't get the motor to go. F- finally, five dollar part. Put it in at the end of the year. We were rolling. Collar beat you up on left side. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a true story in Boone. <laughs> was was listen, it? listen to this one. Yeah. I think you guys maybe know this. I knew this going into this t- this one here. Travis Hagen took five years to win in a mod. Well, I'm com- Look where I, he's at I'm now. I'm comforted now. <laughs> Yes, I would have thought what, he won right what away. What year did I win in the month? Yeah. One, I don't know. <laughs> yep, <laughs> one again. Yeah. <laughs> See, too <laughs> much, too fast. <laughs> it's like my eating life ice cream. story. It's like when you eat ice cream. If you eat it too fast, you get a headache. So you got to eat you gotta it at the right your, speed. Right. <laughs> so, Can't be too slow. You're melted away. Right. Right. There's a balance there. You get brain freeze. The caller's probably thinking, "Gee, Smalls, you <laughs> do need you guys to. Doing? You need to melt away a little bit." <laughs> Who's going in the hauler? Yeah, story time with Smalls. Man, in the hauler. So I got my three cars going in the hauler. I need a co-pilot. <laughs> so he- let's let's. So who, I, I get the tr- head I get the trunk head. driving. I get oh the trunk boy. going, and then you slide oh into boy. the seat. Oh no, you're in the short bus. You're the announcer. <laughs> so we need a head wrench. Who's the pitman oh of the boy. year? Oh boy, oh, man. Man. We'll, we'll wait for comments because Dan- Dana says he'll be. He'll be the co-pilot. Oh. The flag yeah. man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, might, that might get yeah. this. We, we don't want the tires slashed on the toter when we're trying to leave. <laughs> this is going to get crazy. Oh, this is this is popping up now. This is, <laughs> oh, this is Jason Ruby crazy. said took till year three to get one win and haven't collected one at Nodak yet. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh, Dana Brandt says he'll be the co-pilot, but he's the flag man too. So. Yeah, that could be. Mm. That could Mm. Um, we could be getting egged on the yeah. way out. Home cooking story. A little Jed Boyce right says he's eating ice cream as he speaks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it melt. Don't get a brain Checked freeze. Checked in with Jed Lee and Damon here earlier. So, yeah. uh, Jempy said, or Gus says Jempy's the pit man. He's the pit man. Jed and Damon are getting their RC cars ready for the show. That's a small stacker. You don't need a big stacker for those. No. Tackle box. Yeah. <laughs> Smalls, is, this is from Bo. Smalls' new shirt. Uh, early and often, often early. I'm not what? quite sure. He can't tie it. New shirt, early and often, early and often. I don't know if that means what it means. Huh. Well, it takes me a while. Vintage. And it is. Marcus <laughs> says vin- vintage Fluffy for the pit man. Fluffy says, uh, I'm not the best wrench, but I'll drink beer. <laughs> Yeah, as good as half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. How about J Van? Yeah. Well, his show don't get no ratings, so, <laughs> so he has to call into ours. Caden yeah. responds. Does J Van know we have a fourth chair? Uh, J Van, the chairs. Well, uh, he yeah. wants wanted to do a call, and he asked if I had my phone hooked oh. up. This thing here hooks the phone right in there, and then we can hear him, and it goes right through. Yeah, the I thing. wonder what night he's going to come announce at Novak. Mm. I don't know. Mm. We'll probably let him do practice day. <laughs> let him. We don't know how good he is That's yet. That's only th- four weekends away. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Caden Apple responded to my question. He said he really had to slow down. Hmm. Slow things down on year three, and then he went back and won five races. That you got to, like, nice. adjust. You got to s- – your mentality. I'm not saying that, that – like, I've watched – it's – I shouldn't even – I've been racing for 28 years now. 26 years. This will be my 26th. I've seen a lot of people come and go since I started racing. Oh, yeah. And a lot of them have a common theme of if they win too early, their expectations shoot up. And by year three or four, if they don't win again, they're out of racing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm, yeah. I'm just. It, it, I, I wanna. Yeah. I they're wanna the, turn. They're, they're the lucky ones. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna figure this out. I got. I got. A, uh, I got questions here. Yep. I did three years in a hobby. 
You won your first year. Did you win the second year? Not in the second year. Did you win third, the third year? Third year, I had a really good year. So that saved you then. You're not so part then, of my conversation. So, so, so then the next year, year four of my racing career, sport mods come in. I win the championship at Nodak. I win in Williston the one race or whatever. All the races I had in Williston, I think I won all of them, which was only like three. Whatever. Didn't the fiasco happen in 13, so year five. Come back year six, win the championship at Nodak again, have a really good year. We go to modified right away, year seven. Struggle. And I just can't bite the bullet and go back to a sport mod. Yeah. So... Where is it? Well, you did for so a short <coughs> period in there One somewhere. Year, yeah, in 18, I raced it for a little bit. But where does a guy, when you, when do you, when do you move up? I, I didn't, I thought I could go to the next level. And you win that first year in a mod. But then it's just been So you struggling. feel like you belong there. Right. And then I, where's the rest of me? Right. Where's, now, the, now, where's the next me? Right. Three years mm-hmm. ago, we had a pretty good year in a modified. You know, it showed potential. What's 2016 it? in a mod was good. Travis Hagen, what did he race the North Star Hobby Stock one or two years? Been in a mod ever since. Yep. yep. I mean, pe- right. Tra- people Tra- don't. went from a hobby to a mod, didn't he? Right. Yep. People so don't. Did Aaron. I don't yeah. think people realize Trav, for how young he is, he's a widely veteran in a modified. Oh, yeah. He's got a lot of years in one. Good point. Yeah. Same with Aaron Turnbull. Yeah, he had the red he, hobby stock. Yeah. Yeah, Aaron. Same thing. Yeah. I went from a hobby it, to an A mod, and they were good in modifieds when I they was got the, there. Right. Mm. They were. Yeah. All mm. I'm getting at is it's a process. It's a long well, game, right, not but, a but, short game. Right. If you come out of the box, and if you do too much too fast, fast, it can th- ruin racing for you in a sense. Y- y- it ruins the doesn't ruin – it has the ability – if you have success super fast and then you go a stretch without success, which you oh, only went a year. A year, but now here I'm running into long, longer stretches. Where yeah, but you're, you're, you're just you're like committed. me. You're just like me. By the time you get to this point of your life, you're committed whether you win right, or lose. Right, right. You, by the time yeah. in another five years, you'll be considered a field filler, and, and it's just what it is. And you're handicapped by your own schedule because you're not racing my yeah. Right. So that. your involvement has not helped your – I mean, again, That's, as I say, right. if you race enough, you throw enough stuff at the wall, something will stick. <laughs> Just right. by virtue of running 60 times, it seems like there's a chance something may stick somewhere good. Well, but now you take 20 out of your game, and eh, Yeah, the last three, four years of my racing career, I haven't got to race much at all. You I haven't. Mean, right. it's, yeah. it's hit and miss. So, but I mean, if you're only going to race 15 to 20 times a year i I do that's a tough that's you know that's a tough target to hit but see this is something that i struggle with on a yearly basis so we can go back four years i've only raced a handful of times each Mm -hmm. year in the last four years i've won over 50 percent of them so when i sit in a race car i have i have to readjust when i go to the racetrack i go down to to winter nationals down there in arizona and i'm finished 18th 19th 20th 4th you know, 15th. What do they say? Racing's the most humbling sport ever. It is. <laughs> but it, it, it makes me, By the next it makes day. you, and I'm, I'm just using me as an example in this case, I got to go hold up. Don't get, I was mad. I was right. throwing, I was small, <laughs> steering wheel out oh, the freaking side yeah. window. It, it was crazy <laughs> stuff. It can happen to anybody. <laughs> it can. <laughs> it's in the blood yeah. system. Yeah, I, I was. He's thinking he maybe did it once or twice. Yeah. As I've, I go on record, <laughs> if racing don't make you mad, you don't get mad. Yeah. So, <laughs> But it, it's just one of them. It's humbling because <laughs> when, you, when you think it's easy, you're going to get knocked down a peg. Yeah. Right, for and sure. It, can yeah. you get back up and keep doing it? Right. That, that's You rock on your heels and you are in trouble. (laughs) Yeah. I always say the worst. that Competition never rests. My favorite line. Yeah. The worst thing that ever happened to me is I went out and won my first year. I think if I would have been terrible, that's it. I'll go back to pitting for somebody. Well, that's that's a loss in its own way, too. So uh, (laughs) you're right. I mean, there's so many forks in the road, really. Right. I mean, we're beating so, on people that that won their first year and then have struggled because we didn't. Right. <laughs> we, we have a we have a good conversation. So that's all we got going, going on, on here so. in the chat room. That's uh, good. Uh, 
Oh. First off, Jerry says he's in for practice day. Nice. Hey. Nice. Yeah. We're uh, making hey. moves. <laughs> Fluff, <laughs> not movements. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here we go. We're making moves. Yeah. <laughs> Fluffy wants to know if we can afford a celebrity like Jerry or not. We'll oh, give him yeah. a train ticket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and then Jerry wants just just puts a memo out there. Says just remember to raise your average, you must first lower your standards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we still God. talking racing? I look forward to a new book of words. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then and then NBI jumps in. <laughs> um, she's still waiting for Dylan's first win. Well, yeah, going on 21 years, or going on year 21, zero wins, but two DQs. <laughs> it says DQ wins, yeah, so yeah. DQ did wins. he win by DQ? Huh. I'm not sure what that means. That, that Come on, can, MBI, that, elaborate. Yeah. DQs, DQs. DQ wins. Mm. Trav- uh, unless you went to Dairy Queen and won twice, uh, won a prize mm. twice with the whole ice cream mm. thing. Yeah. I mean, if you're winning because the guy got DQ'd in front of you, to me, it's still a win. Yeah, yeah but in his, if you think about it, in, in his world, he's going, well, I didn't win the race. I won by D- DQ, so I'm going to c- classify that in this column as a DQ win. He won and he had two four barrels on, and he should only had a two barrel? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Cody hmm. Shope, second year, he won in a hobby. Not sure when, I, when he won in a stock car. A second year in Williston, but can't remember. Year three for the mods. Mm. Took a little time in each class yeah. to get a win. Yeah. See, it's an interesting yeah. conversation. He, he, yeah, because yeah, winning is not easy. Oh, Take no. Travis Hagan out of there. It's not easy. Well, Travis yeah. just told you earlier. Right. It took yeah. him five years. It took years. him five right. years, yeah. See, Everybody sees it's hard to believe now. that because it seems Look, to come so easily. He but doesn't go without he, five he days at now. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's 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 the right. <laughs> right. Friday to yeah, Sunday to Friday is barely 5. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. So but Oh, are you, are you, no, he won <clears throat> NBI er, Oh. NBI? NBI won race and didn't make it through tech. Oh. Ah. So he was too many four barrels. It must have so been him. He <laughs> got DQ. That's not a win. <laughs> that's not a win. Yeah. That's why we're helping with the deck. Yeah. <laughs> Flatten it out. <laughs> it's just sitting on there. <laughs> right. Well, He's, make sure it sets flat. Yeah, right. <laughs> when you put, He's still got when, some movement to make. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Travis says it's t- t- he had some tough years in the beginning battling the likes of Jorn Boyce, John Flory, <laughs> Hank Berry, oh, Mad Mike, Wayne, Aaron, Aaron Tyson, yeah. Pfeiffer, yeah. Big Eagle, yeah. Jim Air Harris. Yeah. Best of the best. I'll put them in there. That's prime those are nice words. But when he puts it that way, I was like, Travis, what are you thinking? You're but right. here we are. <laughs> now, I have a Williston banner in my garage, and Travis is in that. And, and, and I have to point it out to anybody that comes over because Travis's car was white with a blue 14 on it. Nobody remembers that hardly. <laughs> and uh, and so Travis just – just uh, uh, just to join in with you there that, uh, yeah, that five-year deal, like I say, that was my deal. I have raced five years before I won a feature, and I wasn't quite sure what I was thinking because I'd come off a pretty successful motocross career, but, man, <laughs> two more wheels was no fun. Chris Horton is so. 13 years till he got his first win. Wow. 13 years. And he's dominant that, in a stock car yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. Boy, Chris, that's almost hard to believe because yeah. I race with you, and that is, wow. I've watched uh, him race. But, and but how sweet it is right. when you do, and he does. So Adam, uh, Goff, Adam Goff says it took five years for his. Adam's was five, too. Uh, kind of it funny I didn't know that. Yeah. Five years. Well, and and to reflect a little bit, uh, J Van was on earlier, and I was thinking about it, but Brett Root had an article in an IMCA paper stating that the average IMCA license holder is only a three-year guy. And we were kind of playing on that three-year no deal. Way. Yeah. Brett, Brett, Brett had, a, had an article in, a, in, w- in one of our papers there that, uh, that the average IMCA cardholder is a three-year person. Now, we're not that. <laughs> we've, <laughs> no. we, we've brought every one-year guy up to three <laughs> right? <laughs> with our own. I get it, but uh, I didn't know that with Adam either. huh? Yeah, so, you know, uh, you know fine wine takes time. Chris, I'm shocked at 13. Uh, so good on you. Is, is uh, Matthew Loaf? Isn't he Chris a national Chris is just champion? that much faster yes. for it. So. Why is he watching? Matthew Loaf just commented, national champion sport mod, right? I, yeah, I raced wow. against him. Yeah, number nine. I was in the house. 
Yeah. J Ron's bringing yeah. in the No, I think Matt, the boys, Matt's so. from Minnesota, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Isn't he? Sweet City, Iowa. Oh, that's uh. close to Minnesota. I don't know. Maybe. But uh, I'm pretty sure I raced Thanks him. for joining. I raced over in <laughs> Minnesota somewhere against him. I know he won. I didn't. <laughs> Did you get but second? He, he says it took four years to get his first win. Yeah. He's dominant now. He put down national now championships. Has, now he has no, 300. So. All right. The nine. What? So, now he has almost 300. He so says. us ah. late bloomers can beat on those first-year winners. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is right. leading to it. Yeah. <laughs> it took five almost years. Almost 300 wins? Yep. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, he's fun to watch drive a race yes. car. You yes. ain't kidding when you say we're on the World Wide Web here in the, <laughs> yeah. w- this is, in we're the pick- office. We're of picking up traction here. <laughs> D- Darn TV, Worldwide wow. Headquarters Studio wow. Office. On well, random dirt. On ra- <laughs> random, random dirt, dirt on random nights, <laughs> although it's been Thursdays here and it's going to be again next week. So, uh-huh. There's a whole bunch of comments that I missed. I, I apologize wow. if I didn't read yours. So. Uh, well, that, you say you're a, a podcast nut, and I, I, all I know is this, so I have no idea what the rest of the world oh, does. I listen but. to him all the time. Yeah, mm. I, I got Spotify well, just to listen to his. I don't know where you find time to listen to him, although if I turned off KCJB, I'd probably hear him. Yeah. Hey, what yeah. did we talk about I earlier? Don't. I drive 200 <laughs> miles a day. Yeah. Right, I was with you. Uh, yeah, we were trying to listen to KCJB. When you're plowing right. snow for 12 hours. You... Again, the, J-Man <laughs> was beating on you a little bit on the plow. Does your plow have a name? Because no. the truck, the truck of the year is no, Bernie. But, but I'm starting to, I'm starting Bernie. to think the county know <laughs> Bernie. Hey, yes, I'm Bernie. starting to think the county <laughs> understands how I race and plow snow. Every, I'm on a three year plan there. I get a new truck. Well, two and a half every two years. I've gotten a new truck. Yeah, but now you're the sign guy. And I plow snow. And I, you plow I'm snow. I'm ten years into my two used <clears throat> stock cars. Yeah, and they better have ten more in them. How are you getting a new truck every three? They, they told me <laughs> so. they wanted a truck last 10 years. I said, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> I think they Your reputation preceded you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. But, but, they, but they keep you on. But it sounds well, – these other trucks ain't broke. They just pass them to somebody maybe a little less – so aggressive, <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, you got the side wing out cleaning off the signs or we, whatever it takes. <laughs> we got a long route. I I make <laughs> so, I make sure people get to A to B. There ain't a mile marker yeah. in sight when you're done. No, uh, <laughs> roads clean, some in the ditch. <laughs> Fluffy said, "There's a real question. The real oh, question okay. is, what's what is Smalls's wins to bumpers ratio over Ooh. the years?" Oh. Well, sometimes Ooh. you got them both in the same night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? I've witnessed this. <laughs> as weird as that sounded, it was true. <laughs> so, there, well, there, maybe there, two to one. Maybe there, two to one in that night. You might have ate one in the heat just to make sure. <laughs> I, would, I would say during the victory years, I'd call up and Randy's like, yeah, what's up, Smalls? I said, I need the 15. <laughs> Pack. And three... <laughs> Three rear. Okay. 15 fronts 15 and three fronts rears. and three rears? But I would sell some. But I usually kept at least five just for myself. I am going to be dead honest when I say this. I have not used 15 bumpers in my life. That's the truth. I can say that with and confidence. And the internet knows we don't drive the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking mods and stock cars. The, yeah. mod, the mod bumpers, though, you don't need them anymore. I don't, I don't use them. Oh boy! Why? You, why? You, why? What? <laughs> they don't line up. Oh. Well, well, oh, the they cars, go under. You mean the cars all yeah. jacked up? Yeah, you're basically hitting the nose you're, now. You get hooked. No. <laughs> it comes back down on. We you. got a video of me <laughs> trying to get Ricky on the tour race. Yeah. I got myself instead. Folded the radiator right. What, Ricky? Thornton. Oh. He was in a B main. Oh, <laughs> he was in a B main, and Smalls had to make sure he knew who he was. <laughs> oh, the, he knew in the only race that he could get to him in. Oh. No, 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 that's not true either. <laughs> <laughs> Clarify, <laughs> we're all here. Story time with Smalls. <laughs> Story time with Smalls. Yeah, go well, for it. Yeah. Well, Keep the lights no, on. No, no, we'll save this one. <laughs> this is probably my mod highlight career hmm. race in Spencer, Iowa. We'll yeah. save that one. Save okay, that one. Save yeah, it. well. We got to get video of the the Ricky and Small Zeal in Jamestown because it was it was kind of cool. We got to get the video. You're saying? Yeah. Was it IMCA TV? Or oh yeah. Was it? it was only three. You years took a ago. swing and missed oh, okay. and ate the fence. <laughs> no, he he swung and I'm like, 
I didn't like I'm that. A pro. <laughs> I'm and a I, pro. I drove right <laughs> up his ass. Oh, what, no. what Ricky didn't oh. understand is what Smalls does for a heat race in Estevan. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I think Ricky knew what he was – he knew what he was doing. He I was just going to let him know. used up too much neighborhood and you were in it? <laughs> well, it wasn't bad. Hmm. I, I probably just had one of those things, like my mom would say, you're having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a moment. Yeah. I could have probably lifted, but why would you do that? <laughs> to save the 15 back. Yeah. <laughs> um, from I, I probably should have because oh, it folded a radiator <laughs> fan. It was the next lap. Oh. Smalls was going to oh. the trailer. Ricky was winning the B main. <laughs> <laughs> the parts trailer. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I was your headed, trailer. Yeah, your first, trailer. One then lap. Then the parts trailer. Then the parts trailer. Mm. Travis Ulmer checks in. Ulmer mm-hmm. made it racing. Yeah, he was yeah. driving. He was driving the the question mark car. I'm thinking Travis has got the bug. Again. Uh, is, yeah. Are you gonna come back, Travis, yeah. or what? Now, I like his lead sled. He's playing streetcar games. I get it. But he looked like he'd there's be missing nothing, race cars. There's nothing like winning in a dirt car. <laughs> right. Now, I shared the Grinsteads were down playing with some deck pieces on the on the break. And Cody Nelson was with. And I was teasing Cody Nelson. He's going yeah. to get, get race car bugs. And he smiled. He said, I can't. But he smiled. <laughs> I said, you are. <laughs> <laughs> so we left it at that. Uh, I'm not saying anything. He doesn't but have any cars left, does he? No. Did he finally sell but, his? But, no, and he was helping Chris bend up some pieces and, and being a good supporter and all that. But I'm like, uh, I'm like, yeah, Cody, you're thinking race cars. Travis <laughs> says we he'll, were alone. <laughs> Ulmer says he'll be in the question mark full time. Oh, wow. So he's part of the well, band Kiss. Well, that's an announcement. Part of the band Kiss, yep. yep. Coming out of retirement <laughs> the again. Band Kiss. Oh, well, good to have you back, Travis. Mm-hmm. That's exciting. Yeah. That's good. We we need another stock car. Here's the other thing. Stock car's got a little explosion going on. Yeah, here. go back to the Cody Nelson thing. If you if you can't race or you get out of it, helping somebody is just as good as racing. To me. I yeah. mean I don't like when people just sell their stuff, boom, disappear. That's what my dad did. He he sold everything, he was done. He he I'm like I don't know. I just mm-hmm. can't figure out how can somebody do that. I've been looking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I, know either. I, I think there's I something either, wrong so. with them people. Yeah. You know, but like for Cody, if, okay, if he's not whatever, things don't line up where he can't, he can't race this and that, but he's still in, involved with somebody helping. Mm-hmm. That's good. And, and he's helping Grinseds who are young. Maybe that keeps them guys going, you know, and mm-hmm. we need that yeah. too, well, you he know. Did, he did an asset for anybody and, and he was certainly uh, he was down one one other time too, so he's certainly helping helping them hang bodies and get it figured out. So good on them. Yeah. yeah. So are we gonna? You guys gonna fill your stackers, or are we just mine's full and that's what we're? I think with? we ended up with the same with the same people. Okay. Yeah, I think we had the same yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would I would call them the top three in the area. I mean, if you wanted to rotate out on any given night, I mean. If one well, of that's the, that's if, maybe that's what you guys got to do. I won't them, be here all summer, so you three will get to. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> this might become the next board meeting spot. Yeah. Oh, get those well, on the meeting before the meeting, then yeah. after the meeting, and right. yeah, man, this will take. If it. one of them three got sick, I would slide Connor Hansen in there. Yeah, that, and, that, it, that, it, that, it, if I get five, that's him, and then and then what was the the, the other? Uh, Canadian driver, ha, uh, Jortland. 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 Yep. Starts with an H, but and I'm I'm gonna be with a J. yeah bad. I like him too. Mm-hmm. Small's not doing his research on Canada. I gotta get to know those guys again. Mm-hmm. Well, with all your TVs, you mean to tell me you don't <laughs> right. watch it? Or well, I watch yeah. it, but sometimes I don't pay attention. Well, you ain't reading the rule books, so. right? <laughs> I made it through school. I thought that was the only time I needed to pay attention in life. Oh, After shit. that, it's a free for all. <laughs> it's a free for all the time with you. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Almer said mm-hmm. he has a blast helping in the pits, but nothing compared to being behind the wheel. Well, I get that, but Travis is a good driver. Dana Brandt, mm-hmm. that's why he wants to help out flagging and under. Excited for Dana. So yeah. still appreciate around. that, Dana. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're going to be an asset to the program, and uh, yeah, it's going to be good. 
Yep. Plus, you're keeping the I don't, air, I don't know if I, air conditioned. That's good, too. <laughs> so. I don't know if I totally agree with Olmer because if he would have watched me in the pits when I was younger, when I'd That was pretty wide, entertaining, too. I'd, I was pretty wound tight there, too. <laughs> and that's how I, was, I still remember it. Right. There was a lot of times. Smallsy moments. <laughs> 15-year-old Smalls getting told, you stay in this trailer. You come out. You can't come with next week. <laughs> Did oh, you yeah. stay in the trailer? You could hear me from the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you now? I'll be 34 May 11th. That was 19 years ago. Hmm. Isn't May that crazy? Yeah, May 11th, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Apparently I was there for all of, for all of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all, the, all the North Dakota ones anyway. Yeah. Uh-huh. Somewhere, somewhere back here, I think it's a birthday today. Birthday, birthday, birthday. We even got people checking in for their... Uh, somewhere, I think yeah. Travis Hagen celebrated oh, it, a birthday it's his, today. Yeah, yeah today. Travis, tra- today. Today. Travis' birthday today? Well, yeah. It come up yeah. On, my bir- on my Facebook birthdays. Yeah. Hmm. You, s- you missed it. Well, it's still it today. Was it's still, uh, I didn't, he didn't pop up on my... Well, I'm happy birthday, sure. Trav. Yeah. Fluff, Fluffy said uh, he used to love uh, love Smalls yelling from <laughs> Wyatt's trailer, and he could <laughs> hear it from Jorn's trailer. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> There was some distance, but yeah. not too far. Dirty or thirty years old is what I was told here. Travis Hagen today. Really? Yeah. Happy birthday, Trav. That's exciting. Hmm. I have eleven years on him. Fourteen. <laughs> I'm double. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So fifteen. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, yeah. I like that math. Yeah. It just ain't right. <laughs> Yeah. So you're doing a 30 lap feature small? Yeah. So I need to be good for 15. <laughs> <laughs> and what does it get me? Yeah. Nothing. Not, well, you're no. on the wrong 15 then. Yeah. You need to be on the second one, right. not the first one. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh. Quite the interesting show. Are we ready to have we have we discussed all the hobby stock stuff or I, no? I, or I mean, I don't know. Are do we, have, do we, we got Sage as a new one? Do we have any new hobbies in Minot? Do I have any, so, s- do well, I have any here's shots a, moving up? Because that would be Sage's deal. Here's the other thing. Lon said Kyler would be in two classes. Yeah, he may, so, that was one well, of the comments. Okay. So b- does that throw a monkey wrench in how the hobby stock program goes for him? Two cars, twice to work. Yeah. In, in, in yeah. my personal experience, jumping from a hobby stock in Mandan to a stock car in Jamestown, it's going to take some time to get used to the no quick steer, quick steer thing. Is mm-hmm. is this uh, two I, cars? I thought that was a good conversation. We had that yeah. quick steer stuff because really we have we have the beginner drivers driving maybe the toughest car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, we missed it. I know. <laughs> so, I know. Young as people, a group, yeah, they adapt and learn how a lot about, faster. Yeah, how about just get away from the quickener? You got the six to one sweet box. That's yeah. way better than a quickener. Well, but <laughs> but it's but you can't use it in a hobby. Sport mod. Right. But what we're saying is the steering is completely different in a hobby than it is a sport mod. Right, yeah. But but will will the sport mod program affect? That's what I'm getting. Are are they doing two cars a a night? night? I have no idea. We'll get clarification. I can feel it. Are they going to do two a night or or a certain car here and a certain class there? Right, because I think think that if you're doing two cars that night, I – you guys ready? I did I it for know. ten years, and if I didn't have pictures, I wouldn't believe it. Right? <laughs> it's that. They had tough. cameras then. It's that tough. Well, not on uh, phones. Yeah, you know not on funny? phones because we didn't have phones. Yeah, there's, right. there's pictures <laughs> right up kind. in that room. Yeah, that's why you got I, more uh, done then. I, I say it all the time. I, I I don't know how you raced two classes. I don't know how I did it. And if I didn't have pictures, I wouldn't believe I did it. I did right. it for a decade. Oh my God. It didn't kill me, apparently. It tried. I, I think so. if, it, if they want my opinion, which my opinion doesn't really matter. Well, we know I, that. I would pick one. <laughs> pick what you're going to run at, at this track and pick what you're going to run at that track and don't try to double up right. yeah. until until That's, a special race or something. Yeah, maybe Motor Magic, but anything short of that, yeah, one car, one class, one night. Oh, Storbachen. <laughs> oh. Caleb ah. Storbachen, rookie year in a hobby stock. That was the other one. Okay, yeah. Williston. Williston. Yep. He's been racing on Arizona that'd be nice like to that, see. So that'd be nice be to see to the the Wills and Hobby Stock car count climb oh. up a little. Yep, I'm excited. I think for it, that it too. was a little up pick last year, right? Yep, probably get around that ten last year. I hope they get up to the fifteen. But 
I know that they've being had some said, struggling counts in the past. So right. That's exciting. That being said, Williston, the mod car count, biggest Hot. one in the state. Yeah. Biggest one in the Just state. Just <laughs> every <laughs> night. Every yeah. night. I think uh-huh. last year we had one night where it was like 15. Other than that, it was 20s plus. Yeah. Dang near B mod. Yeah. 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 Or B main. B main. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, you can't yeah. explain it. And and, and when but, they suffered on hobbies, Esteban and Minot was having B mains. In hobbies. In yeah. hobbies. And they couldn't get six in Williston. And so. can't get mods in Minot. So. <laughs> it just what what is going I mean, on? We're here? in this together, but it's hard to it's hard to see it sometimes. But we gotta start figuring this out. My crayon box is running low here. <laughs> <laughs> I keep breaking the tips yeah. off. Quit pushing so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so. So the small stacker is loaded. We got Kyler, Caden, and Brenner. Brenner, yeah, that was. And and Connor's ready to go yeah. in. Yeah, he's sick. Yeah, right. that, that's, that's 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 where I'm at too. No, yeah. you're driving I'm it. I'm driving. We should make it. I'm going to stay in my own car. I'm going to follow. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the yeah. short bus. I'm in the short bus. With <laughs> you the and Dana. You and Dana. Dana, Dana yeah. and I are in the short bus. Yeah, the yeah. flag man and the announcer. You guys got to work together because if you got to cover up for the flag man, you're the guy. Don't kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> right. You got to work together. Well, right. Well. <laughs> so we're we're going into night one with a load of hobby socks. That's good. I Next like week, it. what are we doing? Sport mods? Sport mods. Sporty mods so, next week. So Facebook world, start thinking. Yeah. You got seven days. Well, who's in your sport mod hauler? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Who's in your three car stacker? Yeah, yeah. we don't do power yeah. rankings. We're going to <laughs> the truck. We're doing haulers. <laughs> We're making moves. We're making moves. <laughs> We're <laughs> who's your who's your boon three? Yeah. Going in the hauler. Go. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, let's not race around here. Let's go to Boone. <laughs> who's your three going, going to Boone in the hauler? Yep. Who's representing your Northwest North Dakota? There we I go. I like it. Perfect. Like That's way better than trying to think of 10. Track Packers yeah. checked in a while ago, way up there in the, the chat. They checked in, asked if we're ready for racing in April, if the weather is good enough. Oh, yeah, 60 yeah. on Tuesday. Uh, again, three weeks from tomorrow. <laughs> Man, Dan, vroom, vroom. Right. <laughs> the 19th. <laughs> I've, been wor- I've been working on trying to get a blade, but every time they get me a blade. It snows. No. It sells. Oh. But this is the earliest that I know of we've ever worked on getting a blade. Right. Yeah. Because when I called, she's like, well, don't you usually need it in June? I'm like, ooh. <laughs> no, no, no. We almost done with points in June. <laughs> right. <laughs> we need it uh-huh. now. Huh. But she's working on it. So where, where, I'm kind of. Where are you at, Butler? RDO. 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 They're very good to work with. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I'm hoping next week, if this weather looks good, we can get. Get rolling! Uh, I wanna, uh, I wanna get some. We get we get a blade with a steering wheel. Mm. That whole joystick thing yeah, was not I, working ooh. for myself or Brock or. Yeah. I didn't even know how to run blade last year, yeah. and I had to figure it out before. It, it was like a bobcat deal. Joysticks. Yeah. Ooh. There's no steering wheel. Yeah, it's all joysticks. Wow. I've never drove a blade, but I'm thinking a steering wheel would be my friend. Come down on a Wednesday and learn like <laughs> oh, I did. Oh boy, I had yeah. to learn on a Sunday morning after the monster trucks. <laughs> I had nobody. <laughs> I had to call somebody. What do you do? Go to the back straightaway where it's smooth, set it down, and don't touch nothing. Okay. Just keep going? <laughs> nobody noticed that night. Nope. Yeah. Well, turned out you're good. a natural. Again, Maybe. like your like your racing, you did too well too quick. <laughs> year two on blade <laughs> <laughs> made it made a mess. Oh. Well, or this is year two. Oh, this is year two. Oh God, so get ready. Yeah, mm. yeah. We were make sure we got all the suspension working <laughs> here. So. So. Uh, Taylor uh, Heaton chimed in. He's another one. I think he's a that was sleeper. your Dickinson deal. I couldn't I couldn't remember. His yeah, name, he's so. a sleeper. Yeah. I, yeah. I think okay, he's Dickinson. had some good runs in the fall too. Yeah. What number? I, I, I don't mean 11. to disrespect well. anybody in the class, but you only get three in the hauler, and you right. press me into a corner. So, But I like a lot of these names, and they've all had good nights. So, yes, Tyler, yes. Yes. The black 11 card from Dickinson. Um, mm-hmm. We'll bring it up. I don't know what to talk about on Fear of the Rear. Mm. We didn't have anybody go down to Beatrice, did we? Oh, if we even forgot to talk about Beatrice. Yeah. Or uh, uh, track reshaping down there by yeah, Van Gendron. I don't, I don't want to. It needs some work. No. Because I. I it got postponed, and it seemed to really lose the car count for sure. So. Well, oh, what, what, wow. I think, what I think happened is it got postponed due to weather. 
And they went out with the theory is we're going to pound this thing hard and we're not going to let it chunk out and rough up. And they actually overhardened it maybe. Mm. She was hard. She was hard. She was hard, huh? I, I just seen the winners on, on Facebook. I didn't see And I'm not too so. sure if you could have left water in the water truck overnight. No, it was going to freeze. <laughs> yeah. So, cold, huh? But it was cold. It, I, I'm going to stick up for 70 in February, 28 in March. Yeah. <laughs> Every year. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, so they canceled the weekend before because it looked – the temperature really dipped down. And if you looked at the 10-day – this last weekend was supposed to be mid sixties, and it didn't make and it. And then it just changed. Yeah, changed yeah. Mind. so it's so tough to do early shows, right? Mm. You know, it's kind of like when you cancel at Nodak at two o'clock because everybody wants to know what you're doing. Yeah, everybody wants to know what the plan is at two o'clock. We need to know. We need to know. So you cancel it. Sun comes out at six. Yeah, yeah. well, or five it comes out at. Oh, well, we could have raced. Yeah. Well, you wanted an answer it too, and it was raining. So, yeah. <laughs> and the forecast was ugly. Yeah, right. So, uh, I don't miss them days. <laughs> yeah, it's if, not. If you're going to rain out, I hope we've gotten an inch by noon, and it's a no-brainer. Right. Yep. That's the <laughs> I best don't care one. if the sun comes out or not. It's over. Uh, the thing you it's have those to, drizzly jobs that the sun pops out right after you canceled. Like, I wasn't very. Come from? I wasn't very good at this on some nights, but other nights I was. Mm-hmm. You got to think to yourself. What's going to be in that grandstand tonight? Yeah. It's cold and wet. Not much. <laughs> you know, if it's cold and wet. <laughs> I get that, but. You only I, get so I, many nights to race. So that's what you got to here, gotta... Here's my other thing. Like, we, we pound on the pavement pretty hard to sell nights and get some aver- – I mean, we brought in some advertising money. So when we're having this discussion on a Sunday, I'm going to say, I get it. That's going to be bad. But was the point of working hard to get yeah. some money? That's we'll, the balance. We'll let, let's yep. let's take the risk. We know we we've done this long enough and track the the financials. We know it's gonna cost us five grand if we raise. I was just gonna use the same number. It, it's gonna be a five thousand dollar deal. But, this but we is only have what, three months of summer. Right. This is why For we, nine we we, right. we we sell and wish. Right. We so. we worked hard to sell this. You know. I. Uh, so I say at a one incher, <laughs> it's easy. At an right. eighth incher, hmm, we right. can pack it in. It, it is sold. It's going to cost us five grand, but we can absorb that too. So there's it's going to be winter for a long the, time. Fear there, the rear is the your, weather talk. The, yeah, let's do that. I mean, it's it's not easy to make that decision. I mean, you you got to look at the financials. You got to look okay. Or the the people want to know because. People are coming three hours away to race here on Sunday. You know they need to kind of know by two. They do, but we don't yeah. race till seven. <laughs> if you're if you're me, it's a, a noon. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, I know a lot of people like yeah. that too. That noon. I, I yeah. I'm just gonna say this I year. I, I like to be two o'clock. Yeah. Be ready. If you were gonna race Nodak, you should be ready by noon anyways. Yeah. Have that thing loaded up. And Point when, in the right direction. When the decisions made at two. Yeah, you might be a little bit rushed when you get there at but if it's raining like that anyways, we might be delaying the start, uh, you know, I don't know. 2 o'clock to me, you got enough time to make it. That's a good discussion because really if you think it's going to be one of those days where it's going to rain and quit at 2, 3 o'clock, which it does often. Yes. And if you have only gotten two or three tenths, we could probably make this thing work. You can make it work. work. Now, it's going to be a loss. It's going to show a loss. But is it a loss on the on the season? Or is it a loss? It'll be a loss on the night, but will it be a loss on the season? Probably not. Right. So we only have three, four, four months to race. The rest of them, we don't. So now, Gee. last August would be a perfect example oh. of this. Yep. You, you couldn't win a weekend. No. So Jay Van says it's a topic he can relate to. Now it's a topic he oh. can relate to. I got a question for you, mm. Jay Van. So the Farmer's Almanac says it's going to rain on Friday, July 26th. I'm just wondering if you're going to race or not. Yeah. <laughs> Are they canceled yeah. yet or not? Yeah. Can, hey. can you help me out? Yeah. I, I like this talk because somebody messaged me. <laughs> I think Jay Van's catching on to the drift here. We're, <laughs> not, we're joking no. around, of course, here, <laughs> but, but yeah. No, no, this is a true story. This is probably a month ago. Somebody mentioned it's awfully foggy. 
I said, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Nine, was it 90 days 90 after 90 days fog? after fog? That lands on opening night. I said, you want me to cancel now? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah. We're not going to we're not going to stress. Let's just see yeah. what happens. Yeah. Now we laugh yeah. about it. So I guess, when, in the, I guess in the boardroom, I I guess I I I I want to be the guy that's ready to raise his hand and say I am ready to take a $5,000 bath because I know for 8 months I'm not racing. And where where I believe you guys are at, I, that's just going to be one of the costs of racing this year. So and, 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 I don't want to lose money, we, we, but I do want to race. We, there were, there so, was, yeah. we had some pretty Harsh uh-huh. discussions last year in August about this, you know, and it was tough to. I, I the first year going in, I didn't want the the bank account to go backwards at Nodak, so I was very hey, I I think we need to cancel because I know it ain't going to be profitable, <laughs> and I don't want to. I, I like to judge, you know. How do you say it? I mean, I, I thought last year would be considered pretty successful if the, the numbers went up, mm-hmm. and they did quite a bit. And this year, everybody stepped up on the board. Like I said, Chris Tuchsher went out and sold his stuff. Ground we, game's been great. Really good. Mm-hmm. Even better than last year. So um, I'm a little more, let's let's take the risk. You're, but, sh- you're showing up for those lost days. Right. Mm-hmm. But I don't even get to vote. So... <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. I, right. I know Jay Band's listening. We have race clubs up here. <laughs> right. Does he know <laughs> what that is? I'm yeah. proud of them. They're unique, and we, only we have them. <laughs> All four of us, five of us, whatever we are. And we're Smalls not is running one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the yeah. scary part. That's yeah. Is that the unique part? Well, <laughs> you said it. <laughs> so it certainly got personality. And, right. And um, everybody's different on there. You, you, know, have a, you, you have a say in a race club, as we say. Right. Uh, and a promoter will, will nod yes because he thinks you want to hear yes, and he don't care. Right. That, I mean, that's what we say. I, we, we know you care. Uh, you have to. You have to balance everything, as we do too. But you do have more say in a race club. And you get the you opportunity know, it, it, to do it. You know, here's <laughs> the, but here's the deal with Jerry. Uh, you know, being a promoter, he might have a different, uh, how do you say that? The, Here, here's the, what do you want to hear what he exactly a, said? A mindset on rain night. <laughs> a mindset, on the, but I think Jerry might be a little different. I think he's the type of guy he wants to race. He there, wants there you to go. race. He says it right here. If you can race, you race. You have to race. Right. We as promoters know that you have to take the good with the bad. They can't all be winners like Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. every night comes with sprinkles. Right. No. Well, and and, and so the so the, the table talk is. Is Jerry, how many five thousand dollar losses are you going to take? It, last year in August, it was it was three, three. So so see it, 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 so uh, yeah. In other words, you canceled the first one on a questionable deal on a three tenths of rain. Mm-hmm. Then the second one was a little worse. Well, then that was easy. The third one wasn't as bad as the second one. No, you got now you just don't want to race, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, 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 that was, I'm being I'm being facetious no, here. I, but, was, uh, I was headed to Boone already. So well, <laughs> yeah. But again, My, there's eight months we do not race. So right. your ground game selling advertisement to me says we get the two three tenths deal, and and it's forecasted not to rain, but it's gonna be cloudy and cold at six o'clock, seven o'clock, whatever the number it is. We're going for it. We're packing it in. We're going to pack it with our equipment. Then, then we're going to bring the race cars out and pack it in. We're going to race. But we're going to lose five, ten grand. So what? That's we can't. My, that might be my mentality. So, but there's what six other people on and there. And you don't gotta, get to vote. I don't get, you to, don't vote. get to vote. So, but but this is if you are a racer uh-oh. right now listening, you need to uh, you need to pump up your board members and make sure they want to be at the racetrack. Do we need that another guest? Help. You got no, a no. guest? No, no, I, I, I forgot to message him back. Oh. <laughs> so. but you got to, you know. Here's the other thing. Sometimes in August, if it's raining, and you, you you've had a long summer at the track, it's easier to say, "Hey, I, we need the night off," as you know. And then by the end of November, you're wishing you could be at the track I, again. When I, as I was president for all these years, and we ran, what did we go two years without even canceling a night? It, yeah. It was almost two. It was almost three years. In three years, I think there was one rainout, and I was on the board for two of those years. 
And you were present for See, two. those are the easy years. That's kind of like winning the first year. You do. This is easy. What do you mean, rain? We don't get rain. Yeah, your first three <laughs> – I think your first three years. But I made up for it because that last year that I was president, championship night of the final year, we get that rain and whatever's going on and everybody wants to cancel, and I just – I'm going to be honest with everybody, and board members can get mad at me if they want. I just avoided the vote. <laughs> I just said, oh, yeah, we raced, and it we've... turned out great. Hot laps, feature. Hot laps, feature. We didn't even run heat races. No I heat races. lets you do that on championship night, so. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. You know, a little, a little something different now and then isn't the worst thing in the world. That's what I say, but so, traditionalists, some traditionalists yeah. don't like it when I change up things. So mm. You did it too much. I see, and I don't think I did it enough. Well, you're like a good marriage then. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Just missing Robbie. <laughs> Just missing Robbie. Hey, uh, I got Robbie some, the flag man. Yeah, I got pictures. Marshalltown has 30-plus nights on their schedule this year. Wow. Ooh. They're fortunate enough to race from April to November. Jerry, you guys had a practice day yeah, in, in December, December last year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, Ask them when they so, get burnt yeah. out. Well, how, yeah. how does he keep? I'm thinking on the three zero part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, here's here's the uh, thing I was doing. Uh, I was looking at Jimmy Gustin's my race pass. I think it said 58 nights last year. I think I can't remember now. I'm going off memory. I could look it up, but it got me to thinking. A guy like him, why would the mod tour even entertain him? Why? Good he, question. Yeah, he didn't. Have he to don't need to. He didn't he, travel 100 miles for that. He, if he lives in Marshalltown, he races there Friday night and then drives a whole whopping. Uh, so 50, it's 45 that way, 45 back home. 90, 90. miles. Yeah, oh, we, were, we were wondering, did you want us to add that no. up for you? Or? Oh, I'm good at math. That's <laughs> 94 <laughs> miles. Two thirties was 15. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's right. 90 miles, and you race two nights and Sunday's off. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, It'd be like the Minot Underwood deal we have, and you never get out of the bubble. Yep. <laughs> but you guys won't add mods. <laughs> well, we've had them, but then you guys don't want, always want to come well, all the Drew, time. Well, Drew and I will be there. Yeah. And that's all you need. we got to bring 10 more friends, and then we will. <laughs> we so. don't have them. <laughs> right. Well, see what you did? <laughs> you made them all mad. You ran over them. But, don't do that. <laughs> but I'm thinking up here, do we just get burnt out on racing because mm. Williston and back home, 200 and. 50 miles. And we're Four. either doing that or Esteban, one or the other every Saturday. And Esteban's what, 110? Yeah, it's about the same. Right. First Come conversation is the same trip. If it's shorter, the border makes sure it ain't. <laughs> so, right. Right. So, right. You know. I, I do like the Esteban drive better than the Williston one. Yeah. Williston's Just four lane, but. I don't know. Something about Esteban, I feel like it goes quick. You get ice cream in Stanley. You get nothing in Esteban <laughs> all the way home. You get slide jobs. <laughs> well, that's a that's a rough trip from road construction from Estevan back to Minot after the races. Yeah. Why? I uh, there's no Stanley to get ice cream. <laughs> that is true. But I like I like it because then I don't put on the extra weight that Jerry says mm. the camera adds. Mm. Well, does the camera do it, you think? <laughs> they say it does. <laughs> And I'm feeling it with you. Yeah. I'm looking at it. Yeah, yeah. it's the yeah. camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that big. It's the camera. <laughs> Brandon does a straight on, so he, yeah, got he the hides it. Yeah, he, he hide got no profile. Right. Like, God, we're – Jesus. It doesn't look like I'm – What I'd happened be, to that right. high school figure? Right. Yeah. He left it in high school. <laughs> so, right. There's no adjusting out of it. Right. <laughs> I can't hide behind a tree no more. It's the stop signs that were fun. <laughs> I think you said that one time. <laughs> what have you been doing? Hide behind yeah. stop signs. Speaking really? of weather, <laughs> speaking of weather and down south, we got uh, the Frostbusters. What yeah. next weekend or next yeah. week? Wow! Start on a wow. Tuesday. I really or Wednesday. No, I really miss going to that. There it is. Well, that's a different Frostbuster. Oh. I was trying to find a. Once again, my my uh, prep for this show is I know, outstanding. I know, I know the last three <laughs> nights, er, it goes Marshalltown Friday, Boone, and then Vinton. And I think there's a, what, Independence on, is that Thursday? 
Yeah, it's Somewhere. Facebook is so weird because you'll come across that damn I haven't picture. Seen yet. Where have I been? You'll Not come. in the garage. <laughs> it doesn't come across <laughs> on nine ten. Yeah, well, I don't know. Or in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Oh, shoot. See, I'd just do the easy oh, thing and go to Marshalltown. Well, I can do that too, but. Oh, man. That Third was through the seventh. There wow, it is. Wow, that was tough to find. Yeah. What did you get? Yeah, yeah. Just go yeah. to Marshalltown. Well, you're, you're special. You're, you're a special Oh, fellow. yeah. Stewart. Marshalltown races into November? Dang. Yeah. Got the Turkey 100? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. You know. Uh. That's the other thing. Does Nodak race that Sunday after uh, Super Nationals now? Isn't that weekend open? We could. You can do anything you want. You're president, not me. <laughs> Making moves. <laughs> Make, but not movement. Sunday nah. after the Super Nationals. Yeah, because Dickinson used to have their yeah, deal. used to have a Friday-Saturday deal. Frostbusters down there. I put it up on the screen there for you go. guys. Frostbusters. I like how you didn't cover me up. That's yeah. not uh-huh. left you so the Lean people in. Can see yeah. what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> Lean in. So people can see the extra 58 pounds of the yeah, camera ads. <laughs> Jesus. 58 now. That's right for the heart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would like Independence, to Stewart, Marshalltown, Boone, and... Benton County, Benton, Iowa. Uh. Some idiot that's the president of the Nodak Speedway is scheduled the volunteer meeting here. Otherwise, on the seventh or what? Yeah, he could have went. There's still time <laughs> to cancel. He we to the fourteenth. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we will. Uh. Maybe I'll be hitting up that April seventh. Uh, I got a college trip planned for Peyton. I oh. think either the seventh or the fourteenth. We're leaving, going uh. down to William Penn University to have a visit. I think I better just stay home and watch. It's my youngest birthday, so I know where I'm going. You know where you're Nowhere. going. Not to <laughs> the racetrack. <laughs> I'm going to Marketplace to get a donut cake made. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat that. Because her dad likes them. <laughs> <laughs> and he don't care because he still fits in the car. Yeah. Well, I don't. not in Gabe's seat. We've been through yeah. this. <laughs> We're driving each other's cars. Right, <laughs> right. We're we're switching. Ga- game safe. I don't know yeah. where we went with this, Jed Boyce. There's an athlete in everyone. I don't know. Maybe because you were talking about fat or what? Yeah, yeah I look pretty <laughs> good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There is. Yeah. See, don't miss it, Smalls. Just get on the round. That's what Jerry said. Don't miss it. You've been down there several times before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've I've had some good runs on the old Frostbuster. Fluffy wants to know if I sumo. I on the pole one year and backed her up to seventh. So. Sumo wrestling <laughs> is a sport. Yeah. Well, they say it is. On the front straightaway. Yeah. Yep. That's Put well, people in the stands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a moneymaker then. Yeah. <laughs> I want, I want yeah. people to just realize you don't know what to expect on a Sunday night. Mm. Just like random dirt. Random dirt. Yeah. Yep. On a yeah. random night. On a random night. <laughs> Making moves. <laughs> yeah, we might be racing Not Mondays movements. this year. <laughs> <laughs> but show up Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. As a, as we say, don't don't get too far away from your race receiver. There might <laughs> yeah. be something important. <laughs> right. <on it>. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we have a change, we'll tell you. Keep your race receiver close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so, fun. So that was our fear of the w- rear, though. Weather yeah, we're, we're going to go. We're the good go. old weather and how you just determined to cancel yeah, and yeah. why you did. That could have been a hot sauce topic as well. Yeah, true. Well, we we yeah. may think of one by then. We oh, got we the got dome. hot sauce. We got let's let's let's, let's yeah. throw some dome talk out there. Yeah. We got to run the new commercial here for Texas yeah. Red. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, thank you, guys. New commercial. That looked good. New commercial. I, 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 of course, I'm, you know, <laughs> suggestive, uh, always suggesting things. And with that said, Jeff has has taken on my crazy offer of growing corn in my garden. So I've got like a five variety pack coming at the car show, and uh, so I'm going to put up a Texas red plot, and we're gonna we're gonna enjoy this this summer. <laughs> 
I'll have some pictures. I'll get them here early enough so you can download them, and we're gonna there you go. we're gonna see how how Texas red is growing in my backyard. I got a six foot fence. Keep those doggone deer <laughs> off of it this year, and I'm sticking to it. So. I'm making moves myself. I'm going to steal in there, <laughs> ste go in and steal some corn on the cob from him. Oh, I'm putting up cameras. I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> you want, hey, hey, you want to hire me to come put the cameras up for you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn it off the roof of the race car trailer so yeah. I can see a few other things yeah. happening too. So, All right. So, cool commercial, guys. And uh, we're what? About, oh, we're about five, six weeks away from a good planting here. So. Hey, corn and season's coming. And seeing and them, And Texas guys. Red is ready. And now, with that said, he, he mentioned the car show, and him and I are going to get together on our on our deal there, and I'm excited. He's got all kinds of crazy names, almost like fireworks names there. Well, Fourth of July stuff and all that, but he's got 63 and 82-day corn, and that's going to fit my window well. <laughs> any rate, I wonder if they've got any cars ready for the car show. I don't right. know. Yeah. That's Smallsy and I say you got three weeks. Right. <laughs> You can um, do a lot in three years. From tomorrow. <laughs> April sanity. As, as long as you don't work like Jordan yeah. and I. Yeah. Yeah. We have, we we're going to close the book on Travis's March Madness. Right. <laughs> we're going to open it on right. you and I's insanity. Yeah, right. <laughs> so. If uh, you, you stop by a Smalls Racing headquarters tomorrow, we'll be getting stuff done. Good Friday is <laughs> it's just not long enough. Yeah, right. <laughs> I might do a drive-by just to see what I'm going to be missing. <laughs> just see what I should be doing. <laughs> so. you come back about 7, we'll be watching hockey and racing. And oh, not, boy. Not getting much yeah, done. I can do that at home. I'm good at that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> you got four TVs. I don't know how you do it. Well, you don't. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dang. We're going to need a yeah. lot of TVs in the dome. Yeah. Yeah. I don't a have any update one. on Dome Talk. I think our Dome Talk is kind of stalled. Until yeah, we, we, we have. I have. I haven't gotten any kind of feedback from up north. So They're I busy. Our, I don't know if our architect fell off or what happened here. We didn't get the drawing or anything. Well, with that we? said, you know, hey, banged out banged out a little a little uh, playlist last week. Yeah, yep. you got music for the Dome. Ah, well, so I just threw one out there to kind of just, you know, test the waters here a little bit. Bryce Barnhart checks back in. Great music. Not long enough. I only got my car half stickered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, we need volume two. Yeah. <laughs> I said, did you know all the songs? I did. <laughs> Impressive. Bryce is younger than Dylan. So. Dilly don't know the music, huh? Yeah, I haven't really worked on Dilly, but. Well, I didn't know I was working on Bryce. Bryce is in. He so, was in. Yeah. He goes, oh, I like the old stuff, not, yeah. the, not the modern stuff. I'm like, mm, cool. Well, I, I can bang it up a notch or three, and as I shared, our friend Adam, way ahead of me. <laughs> he's a, he's a purist. <laughs> he a is purist. a purist. <laughs> yeah. Now again, my buddy Conway Twitty here, forty number one hits. I think Adam might know them all. Really? Wow. <laughs> See, so, so I mean, Casey JB only plays about five or six of them. Right. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. So I only have volume two. I'm going to have to get going here pretty soon. Speaking so, but anyway, volume one is still. So you got to put that out on there again. We got to get some action on it. Roy this, so. folded. Roy folded in. Fall, fall down. Fall down. He says, "Great playlist." He listened to it. Oh, see, well, Look thanks, it. Roy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smallsy, have you have you jumped on it yet? I I got. I know Spotify. you're in. Uh, yeah, I was reading our comments from the last show, so I had to go get Spotify, download it, so I could listen to it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I mean, I was so busy at work, I listened to it all. So yeah, it was. It was good. It was good. Yeah, bopping the floor. Bit everything. Mm. Mm. I like it. Not, yeah, it yeah, good working music. Yeah. So plowing snow. I yeah. still. Let, I need that upbeat. Yeah. Get me we going. need a little bit more Toby Keith if we're going to go right, right. knock down all the reflectors. Should have been, so. <laughs> been a cowboy. Yeah. Kind of am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm on a bucking bronco right now. You should <laughs> stay on the road, Smalls. <laughs> well, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Just think yeah. if I work for the city, yeah. <laughs> you guys would be in mm. trouble. Yeah. The, the county well, is. Thanks, Roy. Yeah. yeah. I got to get Katie on that. Yeah. She she plays along well. I don't always, I don't always get the right uh, title with the right artist. <laughs> <laughs> I get in the right era. <laughs> Sometimes I, you know, get Waylon Jennings and Johnny Paycheck crossed up every now and then. So we're working on it. <laughs> So we might have some story time with Smalls here. 
Oh, boy. Dana Brandt says, oh. Smalls and I had an interesting Frostbuster trip one year. Had about seven states in one trip. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> <laughs> we pounded. We got to get Dana up here in that chair. <laughs> I want to listen to story time with both of them now. We pounded some miles <laughs> to, to race very little. <laughs> Was that the uh-huh. year you ended up in Salina? Yeah, we went to race in Iowa and ended up in Kansas. I thought I was. Was a, that when we winded out in Iowa? Because Wayne and I continued to Iowa, and Salina was racing, and and we were like at just before Fargo, like we can change our mind, and we horsed around too long, and we didn't, and it winded out the whole Iowa trip. It, and some of you guys went to Salina. I think that was your. Uh, we uh, did eight nine years ago. Yeah, did I have a stock quite car? Quite a few. Years I did ago. have a stock car, so yeah, it was within ten then. So well, but, actually. Brock and them what? guys were down there with you. Didn't they end up yes, in Salina as well? because some of you guys went to Salina and the rest Kelly of us. Kelly was there, I think. Yeah. I think the. Some of you guys were ahead of us. and The big show ended up there. We ended up finding out that I'm pretty sure the forecast I can tell wasn't you good for was. Iowa. So some of you guys went to Salina. Let's Had to be 20, 16, 16, 15 or 16. Right, right here to this day. <laughs> this date. Uh, 2016. 16. 16, yeah. yeah. Loaded headed to Iowa for the Frostbuster. Where do we end up? Kansas. <laughs> yeah. We were heading there, too, and we did go there, and then we sat in the motel all oh. weekend. The wind blew hard. How funny to this day. Mm. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Dana's right. Story time with Smalls. <laughs> time we went when to When I try and tell people, uh. I've been around this way too long. <laughs> Well, you're not that old. I was dumb. What, what did you? <laughs> we call- drove Started everywhere. Early. You called me the other day and you said, "Hey, we need to go uh, drive all night to race at night and then drive all the way back." Yeah, because we we done- haven't done that before, have we? <laughs> no, <laughs> that was <laughs> what, not in the last eight months. But right. there's still time. <laughs> we yeah, all that was kind of one of these. I can tell you, we were staying at Trickle's house. We went to. We were in Oski. I'm not going to tell the full story because Dana should get on here. <laughs> but uh, we were, we went to Oski. I think we practiced, and we got the race in. So that would have been, like, Wednesday. And then uh, weather didn't look good for night number two or yeah, something. Yeah, we were just coming down for Friday, Saturday. Yeah, right. so maybe that was Wayne, Thursday or something. Wayner was in charge. And I remember waking up at, like, 6 in the morning, looking at my phone, Everybody's talking about this race in Salina. So I go to my, you know, go to the weather, check out the weather. We ain't racing here. I walk over to Dana's room or whatever, and I wake him up. I said, you want to go to Salina? Where's that? I said, Kansas. <laughs> He's like, Where Kansas? are we? <laughs> I said, yeah, I don't think it's that far. Sure. I said, but we got to leave, like, now. If we're going. I thought you said it's not that far. Uh, maybe. Just get ready. <laughs> What time I, is it, 7 in the morning? I let Darren, yeah, it's 7, 8, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> it's time to so go. I wake Darren up. I said, we're going to Salina. Okay. Well, My mom was down there, too. My mom was down there, so I told her, I said, I think we're going to Salina. So time we get rolling, it's like 10 o'clock. Well, I think it's actually a six-hour drive. It's, come it's to a find journey. Out. Yeah, it's not. I'm thinking this was like a three-hour jaunt. No. This is like hammer down. You think you're going to Council Bluffs. Yeah. That's halfway. Yeah. <laughs> Smalls' is GPS and his head's not working. The math wasn't lining Didn't up. Didn't look that far on the map. Right. It is. It is. <laughs> we go. We make it. There were some weird places we drove through on some roads that I'm like, I don't know. It shows up we? on the GPS. Maddoxes were down there too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But I think a lot of these guys made the – the turn before they uh, I don't they dropped at Fargo I think yeah Brock Brock can correct me but I'm pretty sure this is the same year that he was down there with the stacker I don't know what car he had if he had multiple cars I'm not 100 percent sure but he he went south out of Iowa cut through Missouri over into Kansas and he got stopped somewhere in Missouri and got a well this a, a rather big fine yeah this mm. is back in the day they were cracking down on all of us yep, rather big fine because he didn't have logs he didn't have this he didn't have this because he's in a semi with a stacker yeah. yeah and i needed a class a too this is the other thing dane and i i don't we didn't have class a's so if we would have got busted we would have been parked and then i just remember the drive home holy we we came out through south dakota there is nothing there those roads we took 
This is the best part. Come up through Valentine? This is the <laughs> best part. <laughs> this is the <laughs> best part. <laughs> so we're driving. It's like 3 in the morning. And it's all good, dude. It's it's <laughs> dark, black everywhere. I told the, I said, I got to pull over and take a piss. And he's like, okay. <laughs> pull over. I'm, I just I just get out. I'm pissing in the middle of the road because I don't even know where we're at. All I know is there's nobody. You're confident you're on pavement. <laughs> yeah. Here comes a car. Where'd it come from? I mean, it wasn't. You can see for miles in the mirror and forward. <laughs> yeah, all, now all of a sudden here I'm standing in the middle of the road, pissing, and there's a car. They just drive right by. I'm like, I don't even care because <laughs> I'll never see you again. <laughs> You'll never see me. But where did you come from? Wow. It was kind of scary. Wow. I got in the pickup. Little twilight zone, huh? Door locked. And we just kept going. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just in case. Bigfoot could have been out there. That might have been. Ooh. I thought you were going to say it was a cop and you got arrested for indecent exposure, but. Couldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a It cop. was that cold. Yeah. <laughs> Keith, Keith Maddox says I was right because there he he said he was driving by and yeah. there was Brock, yeah, <laughs> pulled into the scale yeah. house or whatever. Oh dang! That was back in some no. good years. A lot of travelers. A lot eight, of travelers. Eight years later, we're still telling the story the right way. That's impressive, right? So. <laughs> right. Eric Cross chimes in. Salina doesn't even start racing till May nowadays. So hmm. we can't do that. Can't. Maybe do that. I could go to the Frostbuster now. So, Eric might be I see the gears turning, pal. <laughs> the volunteer meeting's in trouble. <laughs> they should just... Well, it depends on what know, you do with unloading it tomorrow. <laughs> so. Do we really need one? Everybody <laughs> should know what they happened know. last see? year. Right. Are you talking me into it or you? I'm not going. I have a birthday, and I am staying home. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> it's at one at the pizza ranch. You could make it. Oh, I'm not the leaving. camera I'm, could add another five uh, pounds. Well, yeah. Yeah. Last year I did. I didn't. I didn't eat. I was we'll nervous. We we'll have to get in training here pretty soon, dude. Yeah. I, mean, I, I pretty st- soon. I started this week. I made it three days without lunch. I don't know if that's training. Yes, it is. It's the cupcakes at night. Cut five <laughs> pounds already. Have you? We got well, four. We're getting in shape. Then. We got forty to go before uh, May eleventh. Ten a week. Hmm. It's doable. It is doable. It's called a gallon of water. No food. Hmm. That doesn't seem like you're going to be very nice then. <laughs> but it ain't good. You did either. luck. <laughs> We're rolling yeah. up on two and a half hours. Yeah. Can I don't we, I don't work tomorrow. I do. Oh, yeah. We talked about this seven days ago. I, yeah. I'm oil filled. I don't get good Friday off. I don't get Easter no Monday off. I don't get any of that stuff. Yeah, that's why I have to work on my race car tomorrow. I get paid eight hours. Ooh. Our government money hard at work again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I'm cars. working. Glad, yeah, glad I pay race taxes. Cars. Yeah. yeah, at least it's race cars. <laughs> so, hmm. Your good, your taxpayer money going yeah. right to this race car. Here you go. Small, do you, did, I, I didn't get clarification. Does your plow truck have a name? You know, like name the plow truck. Well, I, this one I've only drove it once, so I haven't had time to it, name it's it. It's nameless. It's nameless. Well, earlier yeah. in the chat, Fluffy called it Wreck It Ralph, but oh, Wreck It Ralph, okay. Ah. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. You years? haven't wrecked it yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. Well, we'll think about it. Yeah. You're going to drive it a couple more times. We're not done yeah. with this yet. You don't think We just so? want to be. No, well, we're going to get a little bit more snow. We had way too mild of a winter to get out this easy. <laughs> no I, don't, I don't want no more snow. There I ain't nobody either. that can complain about the weather we're having right now because we had such a mild uh, winter. Right. But uh, we're not done with snow. Mm. I'm, trust I'm me, not I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the snow neither because I have pushed snow now three or four or five yeah. different times. It has melted, made my parking lot where all my trucks yeah. park wet um, and sloppy and muddy. We're on our fourth. I think this will be our fourth spring now that we're yeah. going into right now. Eight-inch yeah. wheel tracks, nice. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's our hot sauce topic, Mother Nature. Yeah. What, uh, you got any viewers left? Uh, we're still at 50 rolling. We've oh. been 50, 50 to 80, 50 to 80 mm. in that range. Well, well, I don't know why they're even entertained. It's a random huh. dirt show about nothing. <laughs> random story time with stores, yeah. I'm kind of ramping up myself, so hmm. I don't know what's happening here either, so Keith I'm as surprised as the rest Keith of you. Keith says he's <laughs> off tomorrow. Keith, I applied at Hess like twice, and they still don't hire me. So uh-huh. You want me to fill a job application? Maybe <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Boy, I'll be able to do all kinds of things when Fluffy's yeah. done with me. Yeah. 
Yeah. How'd you get the job? <laughs> Smalls filled it out. You're yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he did You're something. Kidding. He did You're something kidding. right. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh, well, uh, you never know. Uh-huh. Uh, any hot sauce topics? Are we going to roll with Mother Nature again or uh, what? Oh, hottie sauce, hottie sauce. Mm-hmm. Let's think. We kind of hammered on the Murdy uh-huh. wreck earlier. That was kind of yeah. hot saucy. Yeah. Uh, honestly, the hobby stock preview might have been hot oh, saucy. How about uh, let's go late model hot sauce stuff? Ooh. Ooh, what's up with all the 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 guys jumping ship and guys not racing? Uh, Earl Pearson Jr. threw the towel in, not traveling no more because he can't get a crew guy. Oh, you know see, stuff I, like that. Expense. Huddy Hudson O'Neill leaves Rocket. One. He's in a Romley? Yeah. yeah. And then people, I love the internet. Oh, he ne- he's going to need luck. He's going to need this. Eh. Comes out and drives from, what, 17th to 4th the first night in it or something? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I don't think he needs anything. Yeah. I think he made the right decision. Kyle Larson's his teammate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say. Can uh, I come with? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Uh. Wow! Yeah, I I don't. Yeah, that, then that is spicy. Jumping in yep, rocket one. There you go. Yeah, he McCree. looked like he needed the help. I hope these guys watch because they'll be like, "Who in the yeah. hell is this fat kid talking about <laughs> yeah. me needing help? He hasn't won <laughs> in a mod." Yeah, <laughs> working on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, nonetheless, RTJ is getting it done. Yep, he popped he ran, a couple off. So. Yep, and then he was Sunday night. I think he got fifth. Yeah. Yeah, he's did the real deal. He, did he post something or he put something out there that he just wasn't himself lately because they wrecked a car? Yeah, I was gonna say like he was he's he was fast, like what I watched here the last couple of weeks. He's good, but it's not the same mojo that he's had where the you know pretty dominant. But yeah. I just think it's crazy. Like the the whole late model world has just kind of been. It's almost like football. Guys going here, guys going there, guys not doing it. Kind of like, like daytime soaps, huh? Hmm. Unpredictable. Hmm. Days hmm. of racers' lives. <laughs> As yeah, the there, wheel turns. There has been yeah. some stuff going on there. I mean. <clears throat> I, there's some podcasts you can listen to out there. There's a Bubba's podcast or whatever. It's on, uh, I think it's on Flow or something, one of them. If you look it up, just search it. He goes into detail on a lot of that stuff. I'm a, I'm telling you guys, it is dumb. I used to be a book on tape guy. I used to listen to books while I drove down the road on, yeah, off my phone. Plug my phone in. They read a book to me as I'm driving down the road. Do you think? Do you as think much as you stare at the windshield, yeah. I get it. I now, mean, now I'm the podcast guy. Yeah. That I try to find things to occupy my mind as I drive down the road. With this podcast. I, I would play? never listen to this podcast. <laughs> Plenty yeah. do, according to Adam. Including yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Adam. We, well, that's the mm. hot sauce topic. I'm going to pick on Adam and Brock. Okay. Yeah. What's, so what's this? I, I shot him a text. I can't remember what <laughs> I, I shot him. They, there was comments from them that we picked on them on the last show because they sucked in Florida. He threw something at, at me about that. I said, well, I didn't think I did. Mm. I didn't think we did. Mm. This well. is what I'm going to say. Don't suck. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So now I, I – th- I'm just here, Adam. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I, so, so I threw something We pick at, on ourselves if we suck. Yeah, mm-hmm. I threw something at Brock and Adam last uh, – whatever, a picture. I sent him a picture of that uh, 5,000 yeah, win US, that, USRA like, deal. Yeah. I said, how come you, you guys go all the way to Florida but, Florida, but you don't go down to this? What you know, kind of they, reply you got? They, they – Adam basically said, well, we don't want to suck, so we're not a topic on the Dirt Weekly. Oh. Hmm. All right. So I mean, you're a topic on the Dirt Weekly for not going. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's well. <laughs> that's sucking even worse. Oh, no. Oh, let me out. Kelgon, take me away. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Oh, dang. So we um. hurt feelings. Oh, I think it was jokingly hurt yeah. feelings, right? Yeah. I don't think Adam's yeah. too hurt about it, is he? Uh, well, he can't be. No, I don't. He well, can't no, we wouldn't Kirk. I don't no. give good back rubs, so <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's hurt feelings. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't wait boy. until. Yeah, Willis I'd gotten a little of that. I, I, it caught me off guard. I, went, I, I said, well, I didn't, I, 
I, think I didn't I was, think we were that. I think it was ba- beating on anybody. We were more mean. I was more mean tonight. If nothing else, we I, yeah. if, if I said anything, that, that that traveling can can come with mixed I results for sure, and that's not they, a bad thing. It's I think just they were the reality. Just so, not understanding what we were saying. Mm. <clears throat> when you travel mm. like that, it's e- mm. it's not expectations are high, and it doesn't always deliver. Sometimes right. it does, and you're you're grateful when it does. And when it don't, you still learn something. I'd say do, I was. So. I'd say it's pretty humbling experience. Brock goes from Arizona winning to driving over there and not winning. Mm-hmm. Isn't that <laughs> racing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, hundred percent. It's humbling, and it. Yes, yeah. you are correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are but, correct. Uh, you say, but you can. Nothing just, keeps you grounded like a good old race, right? Yeah, night you racing, do, for the, sure. The sad part is you didn't have to go from Arizona to Florida to do that. You can just do it right up here. Go from Williston to Minot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't do it in February right. unless you go to Wadford. Right. There <laughs> so, you go. Jumping back, I'm looking at I'm, – I'm, yeah, so so everything's good. Everything's good with, with Adam and Brock. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're clear there. I want, probably, I want to go back to Fear the Rear from last week because okay. I fell asleep on the easiest one. Okay. And, and and I'm repping tonight because I, th- I think it was a great accomplishment, and we didn't touch on it. So, uh oh, our boy oh. Donnie, oh. there you go, nailed the 500th feature win. Now I have a Donnie shirt on in my color. I, I didn't yeah. get this custom made, but it looks like I did. <laughs> but at any rate, Donnie shots had 500, 500. world outlaw wins. Yeah, but we didn't do it. He had it before last week. Well, he did, but we but we didn't we didn't catch up. We on haven't it. had a right. show. And Donnie graduated from high school here, so he's us. <laughs> he's but ours. Here's what so. here's what got me. I mean, he won it, but it was on nine ten, Fox yeah, News. He, yeah. Oh, was it on nine ten Fox News? Top of the hour. I didn't catch that. Yes, they mentioned that Donnie <laughs> Schatz got his five hundredth win on Fox News. On, top of the hour, on, KCJB on the yep oh my National God. News. That's the big stage. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> And, and we and, didn't touch on it here. And maybe I am wrong, but it was uh, it was on nine ten. And I know it yeah. was it was on the. Could have been on local roundup afterwards. I don't know. I don't think uh, it, it was. was. On the good it stuff. was on the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So at any rate, shout out to our. That's yeah. to our to our world outlaw rep and fluffy Donnie. said not five hundred world of outlaw wins five hundred sprint, sprint car wins, wins. two hundred world of outlaw wins. Oh, oh. okay. Still an accomplishment. Five hundred right. sprint car wins. Thank you, Fluff. Sorry about that. That's but a lot. That's a lot. Nonetheless, he's us. He's ours. Yeah. <laughs> Graduated from right down the road here. <laughs> right. And, and, right. And in the North Dakota uh, Sports Hall of Fame now, too. Yep. Right. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Donnie's getting it done. Right. Even when he ain't, he is. <laughs> so, and he has. So. Yeah. How many years does he have left? Two. Two? You say that with, with, with almost knowledge. Are you hearing that, or? No. I'm just me. When I know something, I know it. <laughs> well, well. And how's my year looking? <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't take the truth. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. <Yeah. laughs> Racing wise or hauler wise? Yeah, stop. No. Stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't ruin it. <laughs> I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> I want to be as surprised as you yeah. won't be. <laughs> Nothing? I could have told you this <laughs> a month and a half ago, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Is it warm in here or is yeah. it just me? <laughs> so, I, yeah. No, I say too because I think the main focus is going to be those two two girls. I think they're going to – Yeah. They're going racing. Yeah, they're playing around over there in the Red River. So yeah, and My opinion. Because what are they, 17 now? I think one's mm-hmm. a junior, one's a sophomore somewhere in there. So I think yeah. – I Get think, them out of high school is yep, what you're thinking? That's what I think. And then mm. it's going to be game on, yeah. yep. race on. I certainly can follow your line of thinking there. I mean, and, and you know, we're all going to learn. We can't do it forever, but he's still capable of winning and, and will. So, But the mm. other thing I think is going to happen here, man, I, I can't believe I'm going to tell the future, but <laughs> I, I, I think the outlaw thing, I think there's going to be some – some shakings. Yes. Yeah. And we've seen quite a bit already this year. Ground shakings. But uh, is the uh, – Sanctions I, I, and series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think there's going to be a purchase made. 
by the other new sanctioning body. I think that could happen. Yeah, yeah but I, I don't I, – world, world Racing Group, I don't think anybody's going to buy world or whatever. Uh -huh. They're the owners of the World of Outlaws uh -huh. and several, several other things. For sure, or, I would or, agree or that there the, is – there's going to be – Chips in the armor, for sure. Right. I don't think uh, the world outlaw. There's holes in the shields. Is, right. Mm -hmm. But we've kind of seen it in the late model world already in the last few years because you have had. What What would you rather watch, Lucas Oil or world outlaw? Late models. I'm going Lucas, Lucas Oil. Lucas Oil, probably. Yeah. I don't. I couldn't even yeah. tell you. World of all the late models we watched in Grand Forks a couple of years ago, and I, I bet I could only name ha or right. a handful of them. Yeah. Things change, yeah. apparently. Yeah, like I say, there's certainly some some chips in the armor there. But mm. the whole Larson deal, you know that that high limit series bought out the whatever Tony Stewart yeah, owned. Tony, yeah. Then they basically shut that series down and just added more nights to the high limit series. Mm -hmm. How long is that going to go? Or is too much going to be too much? Or you know when, when does? Because his his See, Tuesday night deal, what what was that was the high limit deal on the Tuesday high nights, limits, right? Yeah. So now is he pushing that series too far? Is it going to be too much? Because like what I kind of read, a lot of people liked the high limits because right. it wasn't such a grueling schedule. schedule. Yep. Yep. It was more of their, you know, mm. more fit for the budget. Stayed a little bit local to, yes. to the northeast there. Mm -hmm. And now mm. don't they have, what do they have, 50-some nights on the schedule this year or 40-some? or no. I, I can't remember what they had. They were, there was a post about it. Some people were complaining. Some people were happy. Imagine that. I, I enjoy Tuesday nights in the shop, turn it on the High Limit Series. It was something we watched all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Oh, mm -hmm. not me too. You got to turn around in the boardroom. <laughs> 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 oh, Smallsy. It's so relaxing to have you here. <laughs> and educational. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is the meeting canceled tonight? Because I'm not leaving the garage. <laughs> Nobody's fighting on Facebook. We're doing just fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Sad part uh, is, is you're not wrong. Uh, you create your own, sometimes uh, your own drama in the boardroom. Sometimes it's, mm -hmm. it's just. The wheel is going round and round. We don't need to argue about how to make it go round and round. It's working. You know, the NODAC board meets weekly. And I've made that comment because I've been in there no, for we plenty. No, we don't. <laughs> well, you, well, you can and or should or and or do. We in Underwood meet once a month. That's just the right balance. <laughs> Nothing gets weird. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we we last year. Uh, you see, you start fixing stuff that ain't broke. That's what you're saying. The wheel's going round and round, and we want to talk about it. It's fine. <laughs> I like to open up Monday. I don't think we need to meet tomorrow. It's working. <laughs> it's still spinning. We good. Yep. <laughs> Now, we'll start getting busy this month because, obviously, oh, yeah. the, the seasons are changing and we got to do our outdoor stuff, as you will, too. So you got the car show and all that coming up. So, But sometimes those December, January weeks just do much. We don't, <laughs> so, we don't need to be uh, yelling now. Speaking yeah. of car show, help me out and get some yeah. guests that want to come on. I'm going to have this set up sitting there at the car show to have people come on and talk yeah, like and we did I, last year. And I want 50 cars, so bring your cars. Yeah. Bring your race, race cars. cars. I want yeah. 50 race cars. Mine's getting Bondo on it as we speak. so. Good Friday, so, you need to put at least eight hours in the shop. Yeah. That's why you get paid. We need to pass this along to my help. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be spray bomb bombing it tonight so the vinyl sticks. So quarter panels are getting gray tonight, primer and paint. So we're going to have a green machine. No, it's still on deck. <laughs> And I, and I was over warming up Jed and Damon the, this afternoon. We're, we're talking about it. We're going to have Jed come over on Saturday and surmise my inventory. Sold. <laughs> Sold. Jed, he so, can do wraps, huh? Well, he can do vinyl. I'm not saying he likes to. Oh. He can chime in if he wants to go a little farther. But but he'll he'll crack out some numbers. He's not doing wraps. My, we do my car in, in vinyl, but, uh, again, he doesn't like it, so... And I do some of it too. So, but and then we put numbers Jed, on top. Jed of Jedley did the numbers for Max's car. That forty-seven. There's Jed. Yeah. Oh. Yes. He'll wing you out some numbers and all that. Yep. He ain't dying to do wraps, but, but. Uh, I think he likes yeah. to have other people put them on. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So, 
But, but he's capable of whatever you want on your race car. Whatever you see on mine is, is his stuff. He'd like to have a little bit more graphics. I just want a lot of green. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a tough customer. I'm just a green one. So. <laughs> oh, dang. Uh-huh. So, still on deck, Smallsy. That's still the plan. I will report. I, I hope next Thursday I can say that it is green. Then I'll be looking decent. Seven. <laughs> so. seven well, less than seven days. Because by 7.30, I'm hoping you're telling me it's ready. Yeah. Yeah. It won't be ready in a week, but I'll tell you if it's going to be able to make it <laughs> uh, three weeks from tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Well. We haven't given up yet. Should we call so, it a show or what? I think so. I think. People are starting to. Yep. Nose off. Yeah. So we just need a Facebook world. They need a. Sport mod. Sport who's mod going in the talk. hauler? Yep. Who's, who's going, going in, in the, the stacker? Who's, who's going in the three car stacker? the sport mod hauler? Yep. That could get exciting. Yep. Mm-hmm. Who's going in the stack? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to do a little more research. I'm going to check out Dickinson and a little bit of Esteban. Who's, yeah, who's going in the stacker? Fluffy wants you to do the retro wrap from your Dakota Mod or the Black Flame car. The Black Flame Can car actually f- changed my profile picture. I can't remember why I did that. But anyway, I got a lot Be- of feedback on I, that. Because I shared it for your birthday oh did you yeah okay remember that that was that after everybody changed their profile picture to isaac Sandro? oh when we did the isaac yeah that's when i did it yeah yeah and i popped that one up on there and i didn't quite yeah. understand what we were doing there but yeah i was just doing it so because it was cool i wanted to be like the cool kids <laughs> and i'm not a cool kid yeah. well, i'm not a kid anyway so <laughs> so cole hanchu said the last time his car was in a stacker it rolled the trailer rolled yeah. over yeah that's Hanshu, a true don't story. worry, you weren't on my yeah. list. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the open trailer. Cole, Cole, with me. <laughs> Cole can have moments. He put him up front there. He got her done here a couple years back. So yeah, yeah. in a sport mod. In a sport mod. So yeah, we got to give Cole at least a wild card status. Oh yeah. So what are we gonna call that? Besides the wild card, um, yeah. Well, well, I, I don't you know got the you know. got the hauler, and then you got the other two spots. You got the alternate alternates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, in, so they're in on the, the open trailer yeah. outside. Right. Yeah, where they on the alternate? They're on the, they're on the pole they're, barn. They're on the two car open trailer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the pickup behind it. So Brock's tow truck, one up on the yeah, cab and one on, the, right. one on the right. That deck. was a wild looking thing, and then you yeah. guys had kept having tool doors come open. I'm like. This ain't gonna make it. You had the <laughs> one on there backwards. I'm like, <laughs> I figured the border was just gonna strip search you guys because you looked like you needed it. <laughs> the way stuff was, <laughs> they didn't even say nothing. The way stuff was was, uh, you had stuff on. I you had three on there backwards. <laughs> yeah. This is usually somebody passing the green machine yeah. when he's rolling up white or 35. Is he going to make it? Okay, so oh, yeah, I was, I, yeah, he is. Yeah, you yeah. don't worry about that one. He made it the last 8,000 times. <laughs> It'll make this one, too. Now, you guys are making reference on hauler deals and, oh. and Brock getting jacked in Missouri and all that. Okay, my operation, hydraulic brakes, and my trailer is 10,000 pounds. Okay, those two things don't seem like they matter. They matter when the highway patrolman's got you pulled over because I do not have air brakes. And if my trailer is 10,001 pound, I'm a whole different deal. I might be commercial then, but I'm not. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but that's... I'm not. So so me and the highway patrolman, we usually have a short discussion. You can't be over 26,001 pounds truck trailer combination. No. No. But when I put Dry it Dry weight. When I put Dry no. and gross vehicle going down rate. the road. Wait, I don't know what I am there. It would seem like that's the, not too this, hard to get to. <laughs> so I learned. My I might own. have to unload the J car mod parts out of the trailer. No, it don't I matter. I might be better then. It doesn't matter what you weigh. Oh, it's the gross vehicle rate rating. Oh, in, open your door. You probably don't even have a damn sticker in that thing. Well, it used to be a Pepsi truck, so it probably is rated high. But so it's not like anymore. your trailer triple axle. Yeah. What size axles are there? Five thousand. Your yeah. trailer would be fifteen thousand. Your truck has to be under ten or ten. Yeah, it probably is. So like well, it, is, it is the way it is. So I like always when, rated that. When but. I got pulled over, I had five thousand pound axles, and my pickup was twelve. I was twenty seven thousand. I needed a class A. Huh. 
But my trailer Without. is registered as a ten thousand, even though it has three axles. It's it's so then you're good. Yeah. But if it was ten thousand and one or more, then you start getting into that commercial stuff. Right. I'm one pound to the good. Not like I look, but that is all <laughs> that is all my title says. <laughs> I've, you I've, just never, to, I've never really had to, to the good. never had to worry about it. I've always had a CDL. So. Nah. Not me. Nah. I picked up my trailer from Jensen, drove over to... You have no CDL, but you drive a snowplow. <laughs> no, no I got now. it now. He does Oh, you got it now. Okay. Yeah, okay. they've... <laughs> I'm <gonna> say, <laughs> what? Hey, hey, him and no wonder the ditches are half Small, clean. <laughs> <laughs> Smalls and Eric Lodenschlager went to Brandon Beater Driving School on the yeah. way to Iowa. Oh. You should have been with on that trip. Yeah. There's some stories. Wow. Feel I, I can feel it already. <laughs> I, that that what my comment about me getting the truck rolling, and then sliding out of the seat and that's Eric no or, joke. That is yeah. no. We did it several times throughout yeah. the trip. That's how we made it there and back. <laughs> that's how Riverboat <laughs> and, we, and I did it going to Florida. <laughs> we it never made stopped. It. We made her stand up, slide under, and slide around, and keep one foot on the gas. <laughs> there was no downshifting. <laughs> Same when they wanted to stop, <laughs> it was the brake pedal. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. We didn't know what the hell we were doing. <laughs> and then when, they, <laughs> when, when they had to slow down. Oh. We got to slow down here. Okay. I get up in the passenger seat. They start slowing down or whatever. Okay, we can go again. Well, they didn't come to a complete stop, so they start taking off. And I go, you just run the throttle. And, and then they lift, and I'd shift with my left hand to get them, to get them going. Go around the clock again? Yeah. <laughs> the second time? We made it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Quite interesting. It was go. a fun trip, though. One percent. Yep. Harris Clash. Yep. What one percent? What's that mean? One percent. One percent. Peyton, I, I yelled in the back. Pit, my daughter. Mm. My daughter came with on the trip. I don't know what was she, seven or eight years old. Well, this would have been 2016, I think. Ten. Seventeen. <laughs> she was ten. Then. Ten years old. She has her iPad with, watches it the whole way mm. down. That thing <laughs> stayed alive for 12 hours. <laughs> Whole way down, we're rolling into Iowa somewhere, and I go, Peyton, is your iPad dead? Nope. Got 1%. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, that's dead. Like, <laughs> she, she goes, no, it's not. Yep. yep. Screen's still up. I'm arguing with her. I said, that's dead. And Brandon asked, out, well, Smalls, she's right. It's not dead. It's got 1%. And I'm like, <laughs> that's dead. <laughs> no, I'm still using it. I'm like, okay, I'm wrong. It's not dead. <laughs> So this is how I One live. One is measurable then. This is how I live life now. 1%. 1%. I'm not I got dead. it. I got 1%. You got 1%. Yeah, no, I wanted to understand it, and I'm in now. See? So story, w- t- story time with Smalls. If we didn't go <laughs> racing, we wouldn't have this 1%. Yeah. So if we got right. 1% still watching, we're still going. <laughs> I switched off that page. I don't oh, even know yeah. what we got watching. Well. Back up to 70. No Let's way. Just- <laughs> <laughs> That's more than 1%. <laughs> well... We have an audience. Now, it's Easter weekend. <laughs> it's Easter weekend. So, do you guys know that today is what's called Maundy Thursday? I don't know what that is. Oh, huh? boy. Are you talking about farmers? I'm not, not going to get way into to the Easter stuff, but, yeah. Good Friday. It, Easter, Easter doesn't start on Good Friday. Well, I actually say it doesn't start on. I think some people celebrate like eight days of Easter. So, it's big in some different circles. But, anyway, it's Monday, Thursday, Last Supper, you know. Kind of like some of those days, <laughs> some of those weeks. You got to work tomorrow, so it ain't you. But <laughs> somebody, the rest at w- of us. somebody at work said today, "Who invented Easter?" And I'm like, "You stupid! The bunny <laughs> rabbit! <laughs> Jeez, the bunny <laughs> rabbit!" <laughs> oh boy! They looked at me like I was stupid. We're having Easter at our house on Sunday. And we're going to have a bunch of people over, and it looks like the weather's going to cooperate. Nonetheless, we had to do the old Walmart Tuesday. <laughs> There's still a lot of Easter candy there. I don't uh-huh. know what's going on. Well, the Easter Bunny must be shopping late this year because there's plenty to be had. Yeah, I don't I know don't, what I'm saying. I, don't, I think we're doing ours tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, they're ready for you because there's plenty. If you, I, if I you, we didn't even so much as dent it. We took a, a we took a little bit. If if you drive by the headquarters <laughs> Sunday morning about six, I'll probably be walking around hiding eggs. Oh. Oh, gonna do an outside deal. Oh yeah, why not? Oh. It's for the kids to go find the eggs. His right. kids are still small enough. Yeah. My kids just go. Yeah, you go, guys are you guys are past that. We we could try to hide yeah. stuff from our kids. They just get pissed. Give us money. Yeah, yeah. I'm not oh. looking for them. Well, I don't know where I hit them. <laughs> <laughs> you have to help me find them. Well, Two years later, back you're in the good old lawn. days when I lived down on Valley Street, we we would you know color real eggs and then go out and hide them and 
Well, we found one on the backhoe in April <laughs> <laughs> or May or whatever it was. Don't eat yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you you got to go get the plastic ones. It wasn't ones. fresh anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, plastic ones with candy. We've got, we got yeah. some young people coming over. We're going to get them all tuned up for that. So, yeah. So, yeah. after Easter, it's nothing left but racing. Race get the car unloaded, Smalls. Yep. Get the race car That's unloaded. That's the plan tomorrow. <laughs> so. Only one person per hour, so I get something done. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I've had rules only one question per hour for the same <laughs> deal. Because yeah, I can't get nothing done. We're still talking one question per hour. <laughs> so, Is that how you got going on the, the late night at the shop? Sort of. To get stuff done? I had to wait till everybody went home and went to bed so you could get something done because you couldn't stop the BS. That's <laughs> right. It's the right. truth. That, yeah. Well, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. The but phone the, don't ring after about midnight, so <laughs> right, you get something done till about three in the morning. I rem- You're just tired, but I just remember with yeah. Oli. Yeah, I gotta gotta go see Jorn. You gonna come with? I'm like, sure. First time, I'm like, when are we going? Oh, probably not until midnight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. I better let my mom know that I ain't coming home here. <laughs> right. It's so a whole, go up there. Night shift's a whole different deal. It's kind of yeah. like KCJB. Yeah. The third shift on KCJB, yeah. midnight to eight. So it's the same. Yeah. Yeah. So you go up to Jordan. Oh, the light's not on there. So you drive out to jo- Oh, there they are. <laughs> Started a little early. Yeah. Yeah. God, it was fun. Nobody yeah. got hurt. No. <laughs> we had, or he, smarter, but <laughs> mainly we had not had a hurt. lot of board meetings after Boy, midnight. A lot of board meetings, yeah. Oof. I've done a lot of board meetings, and I've been in a few, too. <laughs> so. guess, guess what? The wheel's still turning. Wasn't the wheels are ne- still turning. Was it necessary? We don't need to get together and mess no. this up. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> so. Still rolling. Yeah. Cool. Well, I guess well, with that. Yeah, we better. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. See you in seven days. Yeah. Ooh. Another shot? I don't know. Hmm. Lots of stuff got solved at shots, as Fluffy said. (laughs) Yeah, we could bring it back. Oof. I don't know that I'm tough enough for round two. (laughs) Well, for Jorn, for Smalls, I'm Brandon. We're out. Good night. Lots of fun tonight.